All right, welcome back to session 50. Oh my goodness, we have been going so long. All right, uh, well, here we are once again, Pathfinders. Um, this is the Shard Hunter stream, and we. Uh, I'm going to turn it over to do a recap to our fun, loving, adorable, kind, gracious little halfling who has a dirt uh, a death murder uh, assassination kill on sight um, bounty on her head so take it away Hitala okay did you say dirter yes <laughs> it's one it's one of those yeah okay just checking just making you, sure you didn't know that's the official uh, thieves guild uh, bounty that's what you call it yeah I must a not dirter. speak that language okay Oh boy, there was a lot that happened last week, <laughs> and I'm going to be honest, it's going to be difficult to recap it all, so I'm just kind of skimming and doing my best here, <clears throat> but basically, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, <laughs> I'm trying to hit stuff that I feel like, okay, so there was another chamber added to the library. <clears throat> and apparently it's the tree is growing based upon our wishes in some way and therefore it's giving core a private study area uh we if you've been uh following this the past two episodes at least you would know that core is uh chosen in some way by the fire titan and he now has a circlet attached to his head with a red gem in it and devi helped scan to find out that it looks like there is a uh, almost melding of the two souls together fire and Kor's soul uh, and his the cracks that were in his back are more like tattoos in a way they become more uh, embedded or more smooth in, in, in a way into his skin we learned what Primarchs are, though they are beings or people that were connected heavily to the Titans and they were almost avatars to the Titans and there were champions to the Titans as well. We are not sure at this time whether Kor is a champion or an avatar to the Fire Titan based upon this information. Um, we tried to find out more information on the Guildmaster to the south, who wants Hitala dead, and the Guildmaster to the north, who is keeping that not as a proper mark, basically. Uh, so they both seem to have some kind of stock in this situation, and Hitala has no idea who they are. Uh, blah, 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 blah. We t also tested the portal key we got in the Lonely Mountain, and there were apparently eels in nasty, nasty water, which led to some punching of eels, I guess. Hitala was not there. <laughs> I was not there, so I'm not exactly sure what happened. Uh, Eve found that the painting she commissioned from Eritane was complete. She places a ribbon around it. Um, and is planning to gift that to Lestigius. I believe, yeah. There, that's where we are. Stop. All right. All right. And let's see. It is 12 p.m. lunchtime, I'm assuming. It could be 12 a.m. Uh... Does anybody remember exactly where we were? I believe the last thing we did is y'all had separated to do a few things and you got back together after the whole incident with the portal. Yes. Uh, Winky yeah, we, and I we are have... in, the, uh, in the room with all the gold. The massive pots of gold we found last week. No. He's no. making something up. Uh, okay. <laughs> I was hopeful. Just like the death, trying to... So... I believe Eve will probably be bringing that painting to Lestigius. 
but the rest of us have met back up because the the group kind of came back in and then they were hurriedly describing everything that happened mm -hmm. and that's kind of where we stopped i believe yeah okay uh hatala was finishing a set of tongs yes, and core was reading that is what was happening no all right Core, from your reading on your book? Oh no, you were reading The Walls. Uh, That's the thing you were reading. No, he, he was reading book. We had the, the, steel, the four dwarven... The log book, the, the instruction Oh, that's right. The right. stool books. Yeah. yeah, he's reading through those. I was working on tongs. Okay. And then they went to go do whatever. Eel fishing. <laughs> yeah, because uh, I asked... Poop eel uh, fishing. I asked Core about the uh, basically the instruction manual for guards and trying to get as much decoded from that to use. Yes. For... Yeah. <sighs> I want to say I needed to reread something, maybe the first book to try to figure something out. I don't remember. We were trying to figure out how to open the vault, and you oh, were thinking the, the instructions. Sub, the subcrypt, yeah, yeah, because it was not Airmore, it was older, right? Air, uh, why was I going to say Airtain? Bleh. <laughs> 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 or am I getting Airmore smashed together again? That was, yeah. and I believe that was an Airmore crypt, or Evermore, or something. I can't remember their name right now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I think so. It's possible, but you do know that that was a part of the lower structure from when this was an ancient site. So there's no telling actually what is down there. Mm -hmm. Okay. You do. Uh, you did find some information upon some of the origin of Bastul, but not too much. There is still Eric's men at Bastul who have been searching through the place. And y'all haven't had a proper conversation with them other than just saying hi and heading down to deliver the soul. Yeah, we were pretty focused at wanting to reunite them. Nathaniel to his soul. Peace. Yeah, as it stands, those books that you found are not going to likely have any information on the lower crypts. Okay. Uh, and uh, the last thing, I think the most useful of those books, because the books in general weren't the most interesting books, because those books were from before the fall of the uh, ancient empire. And most of them, except for the one which was written by the people who were left behind after the network closed. Mm -hmm. That book may have some information in it, and you will have to spend a lot of time in it, because that book was written basically by a person who was just doing what they could to try to record what was going on. But again, most of it seems to be like genealogical of, of the you know, recording the children from those ancient individuals. Okay. Um, so, uh, make a, actually, pick high or low. But I'm going to go low this time. You know, you look through all the different names in there, and you know some of those names might actually mean something, because you notice that not all of them have the same surnames. So there is a lot of names in that list, and it's a lot more than just like four families worth. Your guess is it may be a genealogy on up to about 10 or so original ancients that got left behind. There. And that was the uh, the second book? Because I know I had one that was like 10 generations where this begot this begot this. That's what I'm saying. That's what that book was. Okay. It was written by the last commander of the base. And he recorded a lot of information about what all was going on. Okay.
it might take a lot of study to go through those names and actually get any useful information out of it. Yeah. If All you right. wanted to try. All right, and then it. the other book was on the uh, basically the art of warfare for them. Mm-hmm. And I can't Ooh. remember what were the other two. Uh, let's see. I had the first ah. one I had was um, the charter for the town. We went through talking about the champion of the titans, uh, Primarchs, and so on. The yeah. Second one was, charter of Ephraim. Yeah. The second one was the lineage. Uh, the third one was life and activity, the training manual of the ancients. The fourth yep. one was the history of wars. So the blood, blood elves and the titans, the earth titan being unhappy with the hybrids. And That's the, it. And for those that would like to know, you can hop back to session 49 at the 3 hour and 12 mark. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, your best bet if you were going to try to find information would be that one that was on the charter and how the town got started. Okay. But odds are it doesn't actually it contain any information on how to open that lock down below. Because your guess, would, your best guess, knowing the writings that you found so far, is they don't include secrets on how to open doors in most of their ordinary writings. Okay. You'd have to find something written by someone more personal. All right. Well, it's going to take Hatala a little while to finish those tongs, so we'll just take a month of downtime. Well, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, no, it's uh, <clears throat> I think it's a little bit of a dead end at the moment. Uh, it's something I can work on at night. Uh, but um, mm -hmm. I would suggest we grab some lunch and then head on out to uh, to go talk with um, Eric's men, and then maybe go down into the sub crypt to see what we can see. What do you guys okay. think? Okay. Sounds good. Lunch goes well, no problems. Everything seems to be as usual. Uh, there is a lot more activity, more people coming and going, and uh, a few strange faces you've never seen before coming and going. Mostly they're coming, grabbing some food, and then heading off again. Do they look like soldiers, or can you tell that these are probably family members? They look more like workers. Laborers, in, heavy laborers and things like that. Getting the housing mm -hmm. set up. Infrastructure yeah, okay. done. Exactly. You know, you can notice that one or two of them are obviously carpenters because they have their belts on with carpentry tools in them. Makes them be able to hold an extra 150 pounds. <laughs> so, y'all finish your eating. And now you're going to head back to Bastille? Yeah, I think so. Yes. Okay. You get back to Bastille and you find Eric's men going through and writing a couple things down. And they see you come in. Hey. Hi. Hello. How are things going here? Uh, pretty good. We've been cataloging as much information as we can, going through the family manor house and some of the adjoining buildings. And we've even gone through the town a little bit to see what all was left behind because... A bunch of people vanished, apparently, with that the incident y'all were involved with. Yes. Okay. Uh, likely. And then other people grabbed stuff and left. It looks like most of the town has not been ransacked. We even actually managed to get into that old church and look around in there a bit. And we did find something that Eric has said we should probably give to you. Okay. One of us. It's a book. Oh, fun. I, like books. I don't know which one of y'all is the book guy. The guy you're talking hand. to. That guy. <laughs> yes, apparently it is a book written by one of the... Actually, I'm not sure. It may have been an Aramor, or it may have been a Mains. I'm really not certain. It may have been right on that cusp where the names changed. Either way, that's what we were looking for. Ooh, read it, read it, read it. Apparently, the bits we've gathered from it is that this guy was a amateur historian and he was curious as to what was going on in this town because he felt something wasn't right with it and he wanted to know all the little secrets that he could find and apparently during his day he was also a bit of a sleuth on those uh, ancient people 
he had actually learned to translate a few words from their language. Crazy. Do you want to read through it, or would you rather have uh, our book guy explain to you what he found? Well, let's we'll talk to him first, but I do want to take a read through after. Okay. So you find their book guy. He's looking at another book currently. Hey, good Hi. afternoon. Hey. Yes, can I help you? Yeah, they just passed <clears throat> this book on to us. Um, um, I was wondering if you had any information on it. It was found in the chapel. Oh, yes, yes. The, uh, uh, I've, I've been calling it the Ballantome. Because the guy's name was Ballin, apparently. Uh, yes, uh, apparently this Balin was considered the outcast of the family because he was eggheaded and scholarly, and I kind of find offense at that. But anyways, he decided that he wanted to make it his life business to study this town, and he actually became one of the foremost knowledges on ancients in his time, which was at least two or three hundred years ago, I'm not sure. Kind of hard to place these things exactly, because he rarely left his town here. He had enough stuff here other than he went to the college in um, Larkin to do some translations at some, t some point in time. But I can tell you that he has discovered and enough translation behind that the town of Bastoul was uh, it's almost like I think he said the word was Bastoul meant prison for magic. And the uh, place was designed and built to house relics of the Fire Titan, including its last Primarch. So they captured a Primarch and a piece, it says the hand of fire, no, no, a portion of fire. I don't know exactly what the portion of fire was, but they kept they captured the Primarch and a portion of fire, and this facility was entirely built to house those things and keep them out of the world. But it doesn't look like the original staff decided to follow those orders. And he found in their journals that what they decided to start doing experiments on the Primarch and we're trying to figure out how its powers were gotten, what connection it has to this portion of fire, and can they sever that connection and or create that connection of their own accord. Uh, I believe he said their main goal was to steal the, uh, the Primarch's power and give it to themselves. Because... Uh, Apparently, the Earth Titan is the only Titan that didn't have any Primarchs. He didn't like that and didn't allow it. But all the other Titans did have Primarchs. Hmm. And so, eventually, the original staff even started using soul magic and trying to understand the use of the power of living beings essence because they found it was somehow connected to this fire energy and then they eventually figured out how to gain some of the power from the Primarch but they killed it in the process and when the ancients found out about it they were very unhappy and most of the staff of this facility was uh, I believe the word was Kiminoa I, I, I think it means I don't know, it's not. It's one of the translations he really couldn't figure out, but all the writings speak of that it has something to do with betrayal and banishment. I think it may be their word for they were excommunicated from their culture. So, Kiminoans were people excommunicated from ancient culture. For b breaking their rules about how to deal with living creatures. And that's pretty much all his writings. <clears throat> Very interesting. Okay. 
Well, thank you for that information. Um, have you had any other uh, good books or any other good information that you've come across yet? Mostly mundane things. We're going through stuff here and there, a few diaries, a few journals. If it doesn't have anything pertaining to anything other than the family directly, I generally just close it up and leave it as a memorial to that person. Okay. Well, uh, like I said, I appreciate the, uh, the information. Uh, you guys have, if you guys, the rest of these guys don't have anything else, we're going to um, head on out. Okay. That's fine. I believe we are planning to stay for about another maybe two weeks, and then we will be heading back to the, uh, Eric's camp. Okay. Do you know if, uh, if there will be anyone left in this town, or is this will just be completely a ghost town? It looks like it's going to be a ghost town after we leave. Okay. I believe the dwarves have said that once everyone's gone, they may even level it. That sounds like a great idea. Okay. All right. All right, so what do I do now? You want to go look at this sub sub crypt <clears throat> door? Yeah. I'm not so fond of the idea of them leveling this town. Yeah. Um, I mean, options. We don't have a lot of options. I know there's nothing we can do about what the dwarves do, but... I mean, we can go with... I just feel like it's a bad idea. Yeah, there's a lot of information and setup stuff here. Um, I mean, we can kind of go with a car's um, option he mentioned earlier with Peyton's Hole, but you know, moving some goblins into the area. Do you mind turning the breaker back on? I mean that just might increase their desire to level it. <laughs> Cause what I was what I was thinking is uh maybe turn this into an outpost uh, since there's a possibility we can access it through portals. I mean we could also get some more of the keys here too. Yeah, I don't I don't know if we're the only the only way I can think of to make sure that they don't level it is to make sure there's somebody that they're okay with letting be here mm -hmm. um, I said we could I'm a little surprised that they're even letting us be here if that's the case that seems odd well we can at least bring it up with the order keys to see if there's anyone that wants I mean since we already have pretty much free housing and free infrastructure to start with and, we have and currently, the dwarves are very busy with the new fire scar that's been created. Oops. Glad we created that problem. <laughs> All right. Well, that's something we can ruminate on as we walk. Okay, so y'all go down to the basement, to the crypt. Just turn off the AC unit for now. Okay, yes. you make your way down and you find the door to the underground. To that uh, part you haven't been through. Oh. You, uh, does it have the keyhole? It does. I'm going to try, try it with fire. Okay. Nothing happens. I think it needs to be earth. Uh, I, I reach up and knock on the door and see if somebody opens it to the other side. <laughs> I'll, I'll hand it to... Uh, Good at thinking out of the box, but no, nothing happened. <laughs> we, we have dealt with this door in the past. That would have been very concerning. <laughs> it would have been hilarious if I had designed it that way. All you had to do was knock and it would open. <laughs> Speak friend. Hello? Is anyone there? Housekeeping! Speak friend, Speak friend yeah. <laughs> I hand it over to Nadep. See what he can do. All right, I'll channel my earth energy and, and see if I can open the door. Nothing happens. All right. With uh, your powers combined, you will create Captain. I'll, I'll go through. I'll go through the full gambit of my powers, trying each individual element and seeing if anything happens. 
Nothing happens. Nothing. Okay. Well, I don't think anything's happened. You did those singular? Do we want to do combinations? Yeah. Remember, when you hold the key, it trans it can reconfigures itself based on all your powers. Mm. You can't channel a uh, single power ooh. into it. Right. So uh, is this can a I trying to suppress the other powers and channel the yeah. one power, but it's very hard to do, and for the most part, that's not how the keys work. Okay. Uh, you want to give it a shot, a car? I want I want to try to see what happens. Toss, I, I don't really I'll have control over my power yet, but I want to see what happens. But it reconfigures as soon as you touch it to a different format than any you've seen before, so it works automatically. Oh, cool. Well, I will, I will try the door and see see what happens. Nothing happens. Oh, <laughs> it was worth a shot. Winky. Winky just. Oh, walked Winky in. didn't even make it down here. He got, he's lost in the crypts. Uh -oh. Make a Winky, where'd you go? Core, make a perception check. Winky, make me some coffee if you're not going to do anything important. <laughs> and I'm you not kidding. One word in ancient on the wall coffee. that seems like it might be the word kin. Coffee. Kin? Kin. Like as in mom and Yeah. As in, sorry, there's other people. Talking. Sorry. As in kinfolk. Kinfolk. Yeah, like relation. Like mom and them. Mom and them. Uh, <laughs> well, it didn't work when I did it. Not as geni not as close as family, but more loose than that. What if? Uh, do you have Nathaniel? Do you have Nathaniel? Do you have Nathaniel? That was my train of thought too. Yeah, I got to sneeze. Bless you. you. Oh, he did uh, it. I well, remember. To... Nope, Nathaniel, and his family, and... Nathaniel and his family said they'd never been down there. Oh, yeah, that's true. It wasn't the Mains' family. You... What about the pissed off ghost? What was he? Well, they can't touch things, so they couldn't hold the key. Uh, I mean, what options well, do we have we here? To, if we were to hand him uh, <laughs> the depth's weapon, then he could pick up the key. Well, well he can only weapon, pick up the weapon. Ghost touch. Oh, you can only pick um... okay. I thought it made him. Where they no yeah. the just that the weapon. weapon is just okay. able to be touched by ghosts. Yeah, that weapon is in the ethereal plane as much as it is in the physical plane. Gotcha. I was is hoping that a... they kind of brought it to this plane so that other things could be touched. Is that a rune or is that just a? Uh... It's a magical rune. Well, normally it's a magical rune, but in your weapon's case, it's because of what it's made of. Yeah, that's what I thought. I just wanted to make sure because it'd be really nice to be able to take the rune out, and put it into the key. And then that that rune does exist. Oh, so we could get that rune and do that. Huh. Then ghosts could just steal your key. Um, what about Mr. Lakewood? What was his lineage? Not this. Y'all sure? never found out. It, he was from sure? a different line. Are you sure? Because I, I, I asked him about this entire family the last time we were with him. What if you used <laughs> your letter opener? He was huh? a Cayman no one. <laughs> hold the letter opener. Hold the key with the letter opener. Well, remember, this place was built by the ancient. Yeah, but they may have became Cayman no ones. Some point. of them did, and then they were kicked out and removed. And this place was still an ancient's place. This facility was and always was for the ancients. The original staff got removed and it vanished, but it still was an ancient facility used by ancients. At this point in time, if the Mains family can't open it, then odds are it might not be that new of a bloodline. It might be one of the older bloodlines from the ancients. None of this seems like it's going to help us open the door. I'm going to kick the door. Because I'm yeah. frustrated. Did you try <laughs> Darius sucks? I know we tried it last time, but... I feel like I've tried it on every door we came to for a long time. You've tried it every time since then because it's hilarious. <laughs> if something doesn't work, I say Darius sucks and 
hope something happens. <laughs> Oh, I don't know, y'all. All right. Hey, Charles, is there a way that you can kick me out of a foundry? What? It's not a lot. I, I had a breaker trip, and so my main computer crashed. And oh. now it's not. It's letting me pick Eritane, Eve, Kairos, or streaming. That's the only one that will let me pick. I kicked you. I like what it says. Nidip has been kicked from the world. <laughs> yeah, probably your session was still active is what happened. And you may have to close it and go back in to make it refresh. Or he's actually just frozen. Yep, he's frozen. Core. Did you try glancing through the book and see if that had a little bit of info? Uh, I, I can. I was just trying to think on Mr. Lickler's lineage, him being from uh, uh, Professus to Hausia, him being a, a fire wizard, if that had any ties oh, to Oh, I get what you're saying. He could still, he wouldn't know about this family, but he may be able to yeah. open this I'll, door. Uh, before we leave, I'm going to try yeah, reading remember, the book. Lakewood's not related to the fire wizard. Correct. Okay. But that's a good thing, because this place was meant to keep fire people out. Well, why am I trying to go in? I know this is supposed <laughs> to imprison. Well, this, there need... may be a Primark down here. Yeah, we need I... Winky to check so, out the air stuff. When, when I heard that bit of info, I was taking it as the uh, this little thing I have on my forehead here as, as what the... Uh, you think we found the Primark way? Well, they killed her at Payton's Hole. What? No. What do you mean Payton's Hole? We only found cursed items there. I'm sorry. I keep getting that confused with other things. Yeah. Ignore me, please. Oh, it's yeah, okay. Payton's Hole was just cursed items. I understand. You got a lot of stress on you from the imminent death. Yes, been, I think that's definitely affecting my memory. <laughs> we've we've been under our ground a lot lately, so yeah, I can see how. I, yeah, I keep thinking stuff happened down there that didn't. <laughs> um. Yes, you found the uh, the fire titan eye, in okay. in behind behind the uh, Mains family vault. Yes, that's what it was. Okay. They um, were using it as a personal storage vault when actually it was actually the way down into where they kept the fire stuff because yeah, we went beyond that okay um yeah let me read through the book real quick see what i can find if anything it's gonna take an hour to do that the boys go with that or what else am i gonna do kick this door some more you could try let's see who makes it faster okay roll your society check did I finish those tongs? Let's just say I want to do some nice... You're going to have to actually be somewhere not roaming around down in the basement to make what your tongs. What if I was just doing like etchings on them to make them look pretty? <laughs> <laughs> I'll allow you to make that check. Okay. <laughs> you cannot find any information in the book pertaining to this door at all. Okay. Um, the only thing you can find is it mentions he mentions something about certain places in this facility are only supposed to open if you have the blood of the family in it but it wasn't his family okay I might um... Where did Winky go? Yeah, that's what I wanted to. He went to the kitchen, which then I made him make me coffee because why is he in the kitchen? <laughs> we, we need air powers. Send him back. Hey, Elijah. Remember, this is probably not a power lock. It's power. 
probably a, a family lock. A blood go in lock. there. Go yeah. in there for a sec, so you can hear us. Because y'all found that they have generally two different types of locks they use. One that's, that's opened up by a bloodline, and one that's opened up by a power. Atala, you want to see if it, you're of the right bloodline? That would be very surprising, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing happens. All right, I think I'm gonna have to go back to the uh, the lineage book and dig through that the log, some later. The log book, yeah. I, I'm calling it a log book. Why did we want Winky? Well, we, we were going to try out his air power, but... Uh, Peyton already had air He was going to try. Yeah. The key. What happens when Winky touches the key? Anything? It reconfigures, but it doesn't open the door. Nice try. Thanks, Winky. Go finish my copy. <laughs> <laughs> As soon as he gets in the living room, you should tell him we have another question. All right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Elijah, they got another question for you, dude. <laughs> he turned hey, around. Do do? <laughs> uh, I don't think we're going to be able to get in right now, guys. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm thinking, uh, yeah, because we you had to have a certain person to get into the first family. Ball. Hey, Winky, can you make me a coffee, too? <laughs> oh my gosh well at least he's getting his steps in <laughs> you are loved little boy I want coffee alright uh, uh, I think are we just leaving is that what we're doing I don't know I am so we, we beat can't up get, right now we can't get through this door uh, I think it's going to take some time to crack it in on that uh, there is an archway here, but you do not have a key for it. Right. It's so a, this is it's the, receiving the receiving one, right? Game, right. Correct. It's a receiving arch. And, and we were we talked about Dev, we talked to Debbie about possibly trying to make one of those blank keys work here. Yes. Yeah. He says he he currently has two of the lower powered keys, the one that have to be put in a special receptacle, and he has two of them, and he knows the spell to unlock or to bind a key to a specific arch, but he hasn't figured the one to bind it to just a generic area. It's a lot easier to bind the key to one of the arches than it is to just anywhere, but they can be bound to just anywhere. Uh, did he tell us what he needed to be able to bind it? Like, uh, no, he's, 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 or something I think he's got the... that covered. It's just... Well, it's the... I didn't know if he needed, like, uh, like chickens it's a just rune, a, ritual. a rune a rune or something that was written like information to be like hey connect to this one oh, but... some type of mac address or something you know that kind of thing <laughs> now it's just a ritual that magically binds a gateway to a key thank you i think um, all the guys want coffee if you can make it for them yes <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding, buddy. Just give your dad like four cups of coffee. <laughs> yeah, give me four <laughs> cups. <laughs> All right. So what do y'all do? Um, since it's one thirty, one forty-five. Just saw the time tick over. Do we want to just do like a general? Uh, walk about town to see if there's any loot worth having or anything else in the area. <laughs> I don't know that getting on the road is the best thing to do. Or do you want to get to like the outskirts of town or what do you guys think? Well, I don't know. Maybe, maybe we can go to the tree real quick and see if Mr. Lakewood's there. Okay. That would be an option because we're here at this door. We'd just be like, hey, man, can we oh, borrow yeah. your body? Yeah, we just <clears throat> portal over real quick. <laughs> Why not? If that's even a possible option. Okay. I'm down with that. Okay. You go back to the tree and you do find him. You're going to have to convince him of this, I think. Core. Yeah, oh. it's going to have... Oh, 
Yeah, hey, Mr. Liquid. Hey, we've uh, we've got a portal set up to Bastool, and we found a um, a bloodline locked door in the uh, the sub crypt, and uh, it's keyed to some ancients, uh, an ancient bloodline. And I'm not sure what yours is, but we were wondering, you were our our only uh, stab in the dark at the moment. Um, getting this door open. I'm fairly certain it's not an ancient bloodline. Okay. But I don't know my bloodline. Would I'm you, an orphan. Would you be willing to take a quick... Um, yeah, at the, at the very least, this could possibly open the idea of where your bloodline comes from, then. Okay. I mean, I'm up for it. Is there anything dangerous down there? No, not, I mean, not for a not while. Darius sucks. That's kind of the only thing you really need to know. <laughs> it was a password to get through a door. Apparently, people uh, were not happy with a man named Darius, who was kind of the <clears throat> person that didn't help the down, town. What, isn't there's he nothing a down grumpy, there in a week, man. He was a grumpy he, ghost, wasn't he? He had well, he attackers. He, he was also a grumpy. He is now a grumpy ghost. He used to be a man people didn't like for many reasons. He was the last of the Aramors. Yes, there we go. He's the one that ran them into a conflict with the goblins and got the town raised and the city destroyed back when it was large and in charge. <laughs> that guy. We He's... tell Mr. Lakewood that. <laughs> oh, okay, sure. I I'm fine with that. <sighs> well, let's try this. He says, give me 10 minutes. I got to go grab my gear, and then we'll go. I'll study. All right. This is going to be a slow motion walk through the portal with all of us. <laughs> dun, 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 Action dun, movie dun. walk. I need a yeah. on his face. Explosions in the back. I mean, please, no explosion. All right. No, need a pause on his face. It makes it back to that school, and Mr. Lakewood is with you, and he, he's wearing his armor and has his swords. Good. You came prepared. All right, sorry, here's the key, and here's the door. Y'all are in Bastool, not down underneath. Hmm? Y'all are in the town. I thought we had the key with us, and we just kind of plugged it into a, like a crypt door. Is that There's no door no through there. You're up, you're, okay. do, you're going back and forth is up at your cart. I got you. All right. Um, well, lead the way on back down the car, if you would. So, so we, uh, we, we slow motion walk all the way down <laughs> <laughs> it takes four hours. <laughs> Just need to make sure we have. Oh uh, yeah, we, we we head to the door. When you get down into the crypt where the ghosts are, some of them have taken notice of Mister Lakewood. Hmm. Sir, are you able to talk to any of these ghosts? Some of them do communicate. One of the ghosts comes forward, and it's one of the ones you recognize as being a slightly angry ghost. And it goes to push Mister Lakewood. And it pushes him and bounces off. Did like you... bounces off, like he didn't, couldn't touch him, or like he did touch him. Are you okay, Mister Lakewood? Made, like, uh, the net sword. He hmm. swats at it and actually punches it. Hmm. That maybe that has to do with his curse. He's he's like partially in the ethereal world, and the ghost is like. And actually floats through a wall to get away. Hmm. Uh, so, is Grab this new to you, Mr. Lakewood? Or? Well, obviously he knows something I... because he knew that he could hit it. I do have a weapon that I use for killing ghosts, but I've never had to interact with one that wasn't malevolent, and I had to use a weapon against it. Hmm. Interesting. I mean, well, this is a crypt, so just please be aware of maybe others. Here? The, this, what was that? The, the bloodline here is tied to the area in a way. When they die, they don't, they don't pass on. They pass to this place with their memories and everything. Ooh, that sounds horrible. I agree. One of the other ones comes by, and it's a little kid. He looks at her going by, and he's like, "That, that is just, that is wrong." Drop kicker. See if it works. Don't listen to him. He's angry. <laughs> you have your own axe. 
He didn't get his cheese this morning. Oh, that's right. So I should take my axe out and oh, attempt your dear to God, decapitate no. the small child. No, 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 no. I, I grab. I, 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 I <laughs> everyone's I tackling like this. Step. This but went so far south. You see Nathaniel walking up. Hey, Nathaniel. Are your memories starting to come back, sir? Do I know you? Have you walked the wall? He recognizes core. Do you know me? We share some time together. I, I feel like I do, but I don't. Mm -hmm. And Mr. Lakewood actually sit, talks to him about the wall. And Nathaniel's eyes light up. He's like, oh, I can't wait. I'm going to be joining the soon. I'm going to be taking the wall walk soon. Oh, goodness. He's gone backwards. Well, he actually went forward a little bit because remember he was like childlike. So he's, he's getting further along. In oh, memories, yeah, inside. good point. Mr. Lakewood claps him on the back. <laughs> All right. Everyone make a perception check. Oh, come on. You couldn't give me the 15. <coughs> All right. Need it and Hatala? You can almost swear that when he clapped him on the back, Nathaniel became more visible. Less like a blue ghost and more like a person. I'd like it to uh, position instant. my... Is, is, did we see anything leave Mr. Lakewood when this happened? No. Power or something? Okay. I'd like to uh, get on the other side of Mr. Lakewood, so it would be the ghost, Mr. Lakewood, and then myself. Mm -hmm. and I will uh, accidentally trip and knock him into the ghost. See what happens. Okay. He sidesteps you perfectly when you try to do that. Oh, does and he... when and... you go by, his sword, while still in the scabbard, pops you on the butt. Okay. Ramming the letter opener in. <laughs> 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 well, that's not coming out for a while. <laughs> hey, could you do that same thing, but to the ghost? But when he does, would... when he did that, he accidentally did bump into the ghost, and it okay. became more solid again. Hey, see if you can hold that ghost. You... What? Just, just humor me. I want to see if you can bring that ghost into the material world just by touching it. He grabs onto his arm, and it, every, everyone now notices that he looks almost like a person. Mm -hmm. All right, now, hear me out. Ghost, hold the key. Nathaniel wasn't of the right bloodline. Oh, well, yeah, point. but we're trying to see if he can hold the key now. I get you. I'm just okay. reminding. Can you handle the key? Yes. He takes it, and it reconfigures. All right. Interesting. Let me try the door. Even though it didn't that's work with the core, work. right? Right? That's, right. that's not going to work. That's not going to work. All right. Nothing happens with the door. Okay. Now we can go to the oldest parts of the crypt, right? And try to find. Yeah, go, go find that we can, one that We can to talk to the ghost and see the who's the oldest one here. Well, the only ghosts that are friendly are the ones of the Mains family. Mm. All the older ones have become surly over the years. And the ones that are even older are outright antagonistic. They just can't touch you. Right. I think they're just sad that they can't eat or feel anymore. Why don't we uh, offer I mean, them we all can... the opportunity to eat something again by letting uh, what's we... his face? I, I get that this is likely the answer that, that we have been looking for in a way here, but still, I think it would be <sighs> we would not be doing ourselves a favor by not letting Mr. Lakewood try the key. <laughs> Yeah, I guess while so. you're sitting there, eventually the ghost does fade while he's still holding him. While he's still holding so, him? So he can only do it for a certain amount of time. Okay. And the key fades away with him. Is it a one-done deal? Like, he can't bring that one back again? You don't know. The key to... drops to the ground. 
Well, uh, right. this would like what I think would be fair for you to try it next to see if this is possibly an answer to your question. He picks it up and he reconfigures again. Well, let's but go it try the, the door. Let's go try the door. All right, does nothing it affect happens. the door? Okay. No, nothing happens. I say so, we grab one of the uh, the antagonistic ghosts, tie him up, and then make him open the door. We do this in a very quick, quick, quick time. That the sounds very Unfortunately, the antagonistic ghosts are far enough away that the time to get them here wouldn't be enough time. True. I didn't think about that. I would like to, as as the key has been reconfiguring each time, I want to be trying to take the configurations to memory to try and either be able to at least document what configuration goes with what power. May I make a or suggestion? Instead? even possibly be able to make something that would work in a similar fashion. I kind of doubt that'll happen, but at least be able to document them. Can you do a rubbing of each individual key when it changes? You have They're paper and pencil. Sorry. What was that, Charles? They're three-dimensional. Oh, okay, so it's not just a standard. Yeah, that's why I want to I wanna do, I, wanna, I just want to get a look at them as they come in, and then I'm going to try and do Imagine sketches. This. The end of the key is like this and goes like and reconfigures and moves around and reshapes uh, it a unique shape. And when you go to put the key in, it flattens itself, goes in, and you can hear it open back up on the inside. Ah. Uh, heavily complicated. Yeah, but that gives me... So even if you made an artificial shape in that shape, you would have to be able to flatten itself and then open up again. Yeah, but part of part of what my actual goal here yeah, is, I is I want to and things like that is actually doable yeah that's what I want to do and because I, I want to be able to like if it pops if, if one of these gets touched by somebody and it configures I can immediately then go they have this power mm -hmm. kind of thing is what I'm looking at being able to do you've been able to map out all the powers that y'all have but not the one the configuration Mr. Lakewood gave it was different than all the others okay An interesting key. You guys want to at least try talking to some of the grumpy ghosts? Yeah. I, I I don't see why not. We've got yeah, ghosts my brain, way over my here. brain, my brain's racked. Uh, yeah, I can't. I mean, maybe maybe making them more, I guess, ethereal or more human-like would be able for us to actually have a conversation at least, maybe. The only thing I can think Remember, of. the angry ghosts are using all their military abilities to try to kill you. So the moment you make them more solid, you'd be like taking a cat and shaking it up. Yeah, we don't need to make any of them solid yet. We just need to see <laughs> if somebody is even willing to communicate. Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah, I don't. Are, none of them are. And the Maine's family tells you to not talk to the older people. Because they don't even talk to the Maine's family. Well, can we can we ask the Maine's family if they know of anybody that might be able to open that door? They, they've always said that they've never been able to get down there. What no one doing? in their generation, in their bloodline, has ever been able to do it. What if we try Darius? He's the last Aramore, but remember, the reason the Maines family has power is because they were his illegitimate offspring. Mm. I mean, I'm almost to the point where it's like, just smash the door, see if that works. It's, yeah. it's an ancient stone. It's unbreakable. And any attempt to cast magic at it causes the magic to go back to you. really want to get in this door. This has been the entire D&D &D session. Yeah. It's only been 54 Doors minutes, that we can't guys. Open. It's okay. <laughs> no, I don't mean like this one. I mean all of them. Oh, yeah. Our, our, <laughs> the, we've, we were coming to realize... We can't that... open a door. Hit it with a hammer. We can't open a door. Do this. We can't open a door. Darius sucks. Your best bet is to find someone who's of the bloodline. Right. But they're so old and must. Um, wait, wait. 
were there any of those old urns around? Those were really old. Yeah, ancient old, right? Yes. And they had a ghost in them, right? Well, it had like something. Not here. Remember, the, those were in other <clears throat> places I went. Yeah. Underneath the tree was some. Because those are ancient burial crypts. I don't think you guys are going to be on board with cracking it open. It. Well, we don't have to crack it. We can put it on a plate or something. No, when you break them open, they come back to life for a moment before they die horribly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you weren't here for any of that. <laughs> no, no. Thanks for that. Uh, yeah, that, that sounds terrible. I'm not down Like, one of them was the size of a toy soldier and thought y'all were all monsters and then died horribly. Yeah. But was it quick? No. No. Oh, yeah, no. He yeah, slowly yeah. fell apart. Oh, Honestly, God. it's it's just like what happened with the painting and the lady. It's so totally not worth it. It's just traumatizing. We can... It's probably something you're going to have to come back to later. Hey. All right. Mr. Lakewood, we thank you for your time coming here. We found something interesting for sure, but... Yes, and that's been interesting to me. I've never seen that happen before. So, if you don't mind, can you keep an ear out for uh, somebody that might possibly be able to open this door? Uh, sure. Do you know what so, kind of person that would be? Uh, seems I like remember. some original bloodline, maybe Aramore, maybe before even that. I'm not sure. Came and Owen. Well, I don't know. Came and Owen Ken got kicked out. I don't know if we mentioned that to you, but it seems the mm. uh, Came and Owens were in some of the ancients that got booted out <clears> of this <throat> location. Yeah, the the civilization of the Came and Owens may have been started by those who ancients who were exiled from their community. Hmm. <coughs> Interesting. Maybe that's why their legends had it, that they were so nasty. It, it makes sense, to be perfectly honest. I mean, the ancients weren't a piece of cake, and from what I've read. And the ancients considered them to be bad guys. Okay. Sure, well, I guess we head back to the tree? Yes, I think so. All right, y'all make it back to the tree with everyone. We'll... If the dwarves do come and level this town, y'all will have to dig your way back down to get in again. Yes. Um, I say that we meet with... Ah, oh, crap, we could have talked about... <clears throat> I mean, Mr. Lakewood hasn't we, left we, yet, though, right? Yeah, we still we can still talk to Mr. Lakewood. Well, let's we need to talk to him about that. <laughs> yeah, we gotta take what we can do about so that. We gotta. All we right. Take... As, as we're maybe as we're heading back, whatever. Hey, you know the dwarves are talking about destroying this place. The and town of Bastille. Apparently, uh, Eric's men mentioned that once they all leave. Dwarves are probably going to level it. Uh, did Eric say why they wanted to level it? Just that they wanted to. It was Eric's men, but they just they just said it. No reason. The More than likely, the dwarves are just trying to protect the world. They're just trying to protect the dwarves. They didn't like the town in the first place, and they they had trouble with y'all when y'all were there the first time. I mean, they they're very it. antagonistic clan of dwarves. They're buttheads. Medet, you need to talk to your uh, brethren. It didn't help last <laughs> time. It like won't that. help this time. <laughs> <laughs> They're a very tight-knit clan, and they don't even trust other dwarves much. You, so, you've seen how crabby Needip gets. They're 700 like times worse. Just a bunch of bullies. Let's go take them out. I'm kidding. I'm kidding, but serious, kind of serious. I hate bullies. 
Yeah, they have a kingdom, so... <laughs> Let's and not currently... warn. Let's not warn them about the plague. They they are the only ones that can get you mithril, I believe it is. Cold stone. Uh, cold, cold iron. iron. Cold iron. <clears throat> In this region, for now. Yes, they're the ones that are known for most of the rare metals. You have to trade with them, and they have a very limited trade. And they like to raise prices. So I'd say you don't want to piss them off, but you've already yeah. pissed them off by existing. Yes. Yeah. Especially if they find out you're a half elf. Well, I've had that all my life. Everybody kind of gets pissed off me once. Yeah, dwarves are a little bit more pissed about elves, though. We'll get you. I, I've, I've, I've really Not never been them, in anywhere. Most of them. And you probably should leave out the undead thing too. Oh, I'm technically not undead, undead though. Definitely. But I'm not. I'm st I'm still my heart beats just very slowly. Any anyway, Mister Lakewood, if you have any other thought, any thoughts or things that maybe we could come up with to keep them from doing that, that would be very beneficial, I think, to us all in the long run, keeping this town from getting leveled. Even if it's something to do with how we could possibly branch out here with what you were talking about with the city, growing hmm. the tree and everything, that the may refugees. be a refugees. Yeah, the refugees. Does the town have a wall? I don't remember. I don't think it does. It never did. It was way yeah. too small and weak. No, it doesn't have a wall. Well, that's going to make that very difficult. The only reason your place works is because it's in the middle of nowhere and we can teleport back and forth to the nice city. Yes. The isolation of your place is... The isolation combined with that gateway of yours is the only reason that place is a great place. This is isolated, but it's also isolated from help and support and food and everything else. I'm not even sure where in the world were we? We were just south of Ann Turkham, actually. Oh, okay. Yeah, that if if you if you can see Ann Turkham, I don't think of any, I can't think of anything that would prevent the dwarves from raising the town if I mean I'm, I'm assuming are they just raising it because no one lives there anymore and because of what happened before ah uh, yeah I, there's no legal way I know of to stop them from doing that I imagine okay. the only reason they haven't is because they don't want an incident with the kingdom Well, then we'll just have to hope they don't do it before we can get back there. And if they do, we'll just have to dig. We'll probably have the mining site up and running by that point in time. Uh, Well, if uh, we go ahead and get that portal set up, then there's a possibility we don't have to dig. So that's high priority right now. Or if we find the other side of the portal and it's underground. Huh? If we find the other uh, side of the portal network and get that activated and then get to it. The one to Bastille? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, trying to... that would, We would either have to dig or have to find the portal to get to the that lower room. Right. Well, do we want to just kind of peter around for the rest of the day or do we want to try to get out on the road for the night? Make some headway? It's already 3 p.m. What's that? It's already 3 p.m. Your best bet would be first thing in the morning. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm gonna um, I guess curl up with the uh the lineage book and see if I can't find some connections there. I don't know what you guys are doing for the rest of the day. <clears throat> so what was everyone else doing for the rest of the day? Uh, I'm assuming um, you're making your tongs. Yeah, I'm going to continue working on the tongs. Okay. I want to try to make a little bit of money to counterbalance that money we spent and use them out uh, war lore. Using or what? War, no, warfare uh, lore. Okay. You're not going to be able to make any money at the tree using your warfare. I didn't know. If, I was going to see if there was any uh, anybody that might be. That was, that's why I forgot 
Yeah. No one at the tree will be able to pay you. Okay. Well, I guess uh, I just got to get some wood in the car. I have nothing really else I need to do. Meet up. What are you doing for the rest of the day? Um, probably drinking and, and nursing my wound on my butt. I actually, I, you know, that sounds that. like a good idea. I'm going to join you. Uh, cheese and wine, what do you say? Uh, cheese and meat, but yeah, sure. Cheese and meat? Oh, you said you were right. drinking too. That's, that's mm. fine. Winky? Yes? What are you going to do for the rest of the afternoon? Uh, work, work at the... Uh, coffee shop. Uh, Making coffee for everybody. The blacksmith. We'll get the blacksmith. All right. <laughs> the rest of the day passes without any major incidences. All right. It is evening. Time for dinner. Yay. Mm. Get some chow. Sounds good. Yeah, get some chow and run over our next option since we kind of ran into a brick door. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I eat dinner. Everything seems to be going pretty good, pretty peaceful, nothing really going wrong. Y'all do anything? Well, hey, cat. Or just wake, sleep tonight, and wake up in the morning to get ready to go? Play a game of Mad Lib. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, I want to ask Core what he found out while reading the books for the for the remainder of the day. Their names. Did you find out anything special? Lots of names. So far, nothing important. Bisterius begot Natharkin begot Iskakar begot. And that's kind of how it goes. Oh, uh, yeah, that's fun. You need to look for, uh, go, you probably need to like skip like probably uh, 20 pages and see if we can find something further back. It's going to probably take several days of reading to get through all the names and see if there's anything. Because not only does he have to read the names, he has to read the names and see if anything Maybe. applies to him. Anything. And he paid, paid and dropped. Yeah, because what I was thinking is like, since we're looking for far begotten history, open up the middle of the book and start from, from there. Well, the, the problem is we don't know which name is going to be a key here. True. I mean, He's I, just got to read all the names to see if yeah. any of them drag any bells. Oh. I mean, the when I first looked at it, that's when I kind of skipped through real quick mm -hmm. and tried to do the easy stuff. Now I have to go through in a more uh, detailed method. Yeah. Return of Nita. Why are you needing me, Cat? Stop it. All right. Y'all sleep the night away? Wow. Oh. Horrible. It's a really bright light. It becomes morning, and y'all get together to meet at the uh, breakfast hall. I'm assuming we're getting ready a little bit early to go. Yes. Yes, sir. All right. Huh. We all get our breakfast and getting ready. That's a really bright light. Where did my... Yeah. You know what I did for my face light? Oh, it's your computer. Jeez. <laughs> you have that thing on a thousand? Good lord. <laughs> no, it's just a it's just a thirty inch TV. <laughs> Can you turn the brightness down? <laughs> I, I just have to switch to something that doesn't have a white background. Uh, gotcha. apparently we still have 
trees down from Tuesday in the neighborhood, and oh, so goodness. yeah, I I keep losing internet off and on. Ah, uh, that's because I was because I was about to say if it's a face light, what I did is I took like three or four Walmart bags mm. as like a uh, softener and put it yeah. around it, and that kind of helped diffuse the light a little bit. Anyway, you might have to try sorry. that for me. Anyway, onward. Go. Sorry. So about the dream I had last night. Oh God. Here we go. Hey Charles, before he tells the dream, <laughs> will you uh, will you kick me from Forge? Okay. All right. So, <clears throat> dreamed again of fire and of the clanging, and this time it was make the mini one burn the fire and make things right. That's that's what I got. This time, make the mini one burn the fire and make things right. Like is that the mini one or the or like mini? Mini, yeah. well, much more, mucho. It's, it's similar to what was said before. Uh, yeah, before, if I remember right, it was um, burn it the dark, was. light the fire, release the trap, return, return what was what mini was one. Mini one. This is the, the game of Mad Libs you're asking about, right? <laughs> yeah, I really need to increase my wisdom, and this is not helping. This is above my above my, okay. uh, my wisdom level. Very high. I, uh, yeah. You know, just way over my head. All right. On the road. Yeah, we may have lost pain again because he's the pros. <laughs> At least this time it's actually blurred out so you can tell it's frozen. Yeah. The last time yeah, it was so it's clear. It's frozen. I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> That's him getting cheese. That's him eating his cheese. Can you, uh, Charles, throw up the world map? Uh, he did put in check. God, interwebs failure. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Ah, he's back. Yeah, I'm just using the cell phone now. <laughs> so. All right. I have a few uh, technical I, 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 I'm assuming your plan was to go basically straight north, skirting the forest to head towards es Alestes. And then over to the hideout, which is over this way. Yeah. A car? You're what? the you're the woodsy one, aren't you? Or yeah, that w uh, I mean, we could chance it to go straight through the woods, but it'd probably be actually quicker to go around. And then, because we're going to have to go into the woods later. Mm -hmm. Or you guys can go through the woods, get your uh, bearing on how to fight in the woods, and then we can go. Well, I mean, there'd be goblins in them dare woods. Yeah, that's true, but you know we're also looking for the. Well, the uh, goblins are in the hills. There be goblins in oh, the they're, they're hills. They're in the south. The goblins are in the south in the hills. Is that what you said? Oh. Yeah, you're not sure what's in the woods. Okay, so that's what I'm saying. If we go through the woods, it's going to be strictly uh, learning how to fight in the woods. But it would probably take us quite a bit longer. And y'all got a cart with donkeys, so it'd probably be better to go around the woods. I thought we yeah, left those at Cares. No, we have no, the you, cart. You we left the wagon that, with That's what it was. That's what it was. Yeah. We have the cart that has the door frame. That's why we were able to jump back and forth to the tree. Yeah, that's right. All okay. Right. This, yeah. So I say we skirt around. In, uh, All right. Bypass. You make it through the first day without any major troubles. Freeze again? Uh, no, no. Core. Oh, okay. Thanks. <laughs> uh, Core, are, like... are you riding in the car and reading at the same time? I, since nothing's really going on, are you trying to? I could. Um, yeah. It was just a suggestion. Sure. Yeah. I mean, it, we were we were working that earlier. I can do that. All right. 
y'all make it through the day, and on your watch this night, you've set up along the edge of the forest, not too far into the pasture, but not too far into not into the trees at all either. Dang, that was quick, Cor. Goose, come here. <laughs> hey, it's, it's nighttime. Boof. I'm sure the depths alarm somewhere around there. Yep. During first watch, when both Cor and Needip are on watch duty. Winky, Hatala, and um, Mo are asleep. A car. A car. A car, yes. <laughs> Winky, good. a car, and Hatala are asleep. We have so many names for each other. <laughs> and the donkeys are tied up to a tree. So they don't run nowhere. You hear something in the distance. Uh, uh, need a... Okay. Can I kind of focus and see if I can tell what it I is? I don't see anything. You're asleep. You can't asleep. Oh. All right. Make a perception check, need it. I can't get in. I already kicked you from it, but I'll run it for you. Sorry. <laughs> no problem. That mean I could play Eve tonight? <laughs> no. <laughs> You'd kill me. You, you actually rolled a 29 for your perception. Off in the distance, you <laughs> see something large shambling around. Um... It Probably something between 12 to 15 feet tall. Does it look humanoid in nature? Yes. I'm going to, in my best Professor Quirrell and Person Nation, you know, troll. Um, I don't know. Wait, it's wait. not a troll. I don't know if it's a troll one way you or another. something over there? I, I'm going to nudge the closest person to me quietly and... Uh, bring their attention to it okay. unless with Nadep getting folks attention I'm going to start waking everyone up to quiet we got we got something in the woods that direction over there you need to get arms going which direction that way which way is that way <laughs> a point over right there, there. Car, can you can you swing out and see if you can figure out what that is? Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and stealth and see if I can get a better look on it. And you saw it in this direction, Nita. You see it? No. Sorry. Over there where Winky's little I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> still cool. not informed. You see it. Oh, there it is. There it is. It just popped up to where I can log in now. <laughs> Top right of the screen. And now my internet will go out. Jeez. Oh. <laughs> you do I'm have sorry. a hero point. I think you are the stealthiest person alive. Look at those two bodies in the bushes. A car, a car. You want to put down the torch first? <laughs> oh, oh yeah. Sorry, I'm still half asleep. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's not a good idea at all. Way to give away our position. <laughs> well, at least I'm still in the tent. Right. But I mean, he still wouldn't see me. I mean, I'm like the stealthiest person ever. Come on. Yeah, but you're holding a torch at yeah, night. Yeah, he wouldn't have, he wouldn't have seen that. Hey, you got If you believe in yourself, you go for it. Yeah, I'm I'm super I'm super confident. <coughs> uh, 
That is the craziest initiative I've ever seen. Uh, uh, uh. Alright, everyone else, roll initiative. Make sure to click yourself first. Including the uh, sleeping people? Click well, he, he just woke everyone up, You're so y'all are all awake now. I still can't see anything. Wait, hold, Wait <laughs> hold up. What is initiative supposed to be <clears throat> of as far as modifier? Because for some reason I have the stealth on mine. But I can't click on my I don't think it's ever been that high. Is it supposed you, to be perception? It, it can be perception. It can be a lot of other different things. But, you know, I've you never think noticed it. I've never noticed it being at a plus 14, though, for my initiative, though. What is it supposed to be? I don't know. It depends on your stuff. Tyler, we're getting you. No, no, you're not doing the initiative initiative stealth. That, you're not clicking that. You're not clicking any of that. When you go uh, to the I've, combat it, tab, there's a little dice next to your name. Yeah, no, I, I clicked on I clicked on initiative and it popped up initiative stealth. There's normally been perception. Oh, I did you not know, you actually do. About? You do have you have to do actually. it from the combat screen or it doesn't count. Uh, okay, what's the combat screen? The one that looks like two swords, the second one. You'll see your name on there. Okay. I go away. Okay. Hold on a second, I gotta fix Winky. There, yeah, he's for how we do this. All right, I already did yours. Thank you. So, a car. What? Oh, it had taller rules. Oh, never mind. I rolled the wrong thing. Yeah, I see that now. A car, it is your turn. All right, well, first I'm going to get out of the pit, I think. Uh, there. Uh, I'm colliding with a wall. The, the walls are solid. You have to go out the door. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I can't see much. Because it's nighttime. Yeah. Just... Uh, where to go, where to go, where to go? We'll move there. I'm just... You get to activate your torch. You have to either light a torch or someone has to cast magic when they get their turn. Uh, I have an ever burning torch on me. If you have an ever burning torch, you can just click your little torch icon. If you right click your token, there's a little torch icon. At the top left? Yeah. There yeah, there you go. go. Now you've got a torch. Cool. Now I'm the beacon. I'm going to go yep. up here. <laughs> I think that's as far as I can move. Uh, yeah. I'm just going to hold right there. All right, and your turn? A giant rock comes rolling out of the sky. Uh, I'm dead. Thanks. See you guys later. <laughs> Sorry, I was just reading the Twitch stream. Brief like slave. And you get walloped for 18 damage. Ouch. Ouch. And I think I you got to yeah. click that first button yeah. to apply full damage. Yeah, I hadn't had my I hadn't had my token selected. Somehow. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Somehow I got off of it. I had it selected, and then, then it wasn't selected. You know that kind of thing. Winky. <clears throat> yep. Your turn. Okay. 
I can't see anything. Because you're in a building. You've got to come out of the building. you got to get out of the tent, guy. Go towards the fire, because that's where the door is. What are you talking about? I can't see anything on here. It's just gray. I can see your view. You see the fire. Not on my screen. You might need to move it around a little bit. Yeah. Zoom, try trying. zooming out. Let me... Because you're way over here. If I... If I you're not even near your character. Huh? Your cursor is not Aim where... Not... the bottom left. You're not at your character. There. there well, I didn't... It's okay, bud. Just you just gotta on. look it's around the map to find where you live, where you yeah. are. Okay. <laughs> if you can't see anything, then you gotta move. So my uh, first there. action, I'm gonna move out here. Outside the outside the tent. It there. But then I'll move right here and hit this guy. Those are your donkeys. Uh, yeah, the uh, the the guys the they were they were up here past the car. Uh, yeah, I mean to be fair, how would he know? <laughs> yeah, he wouldn't know. Uh, <laughs> so, but when you so, get up there, you see that they're your donkeys. Okay, so they don't use my last action to do. <clears throat> Let's see. To go right there, and that's the end of my turn. Alright. Alright, one of the donkeys is making noises right now. It does not seem to be happy with what's going on. Patala? Oh. That's not very helpful. I still don't see anything at all. All right, I move. It is a very dark and moonless night. I guess I'm going to kind of move behind a car and kind of hide behind a using my distracting shadows or whatever it is no problem and that's it And I whisper to Atala, watch out, I just saw a rock come at my face. It's very large. Very large rock. I see the intentions. So if I say duck, that means you should duck too, because if not, you're going to get hit in the face. I'm pretty sure it'll go over me. <laughs> <laughs> you have a good point there. Just, But if I say duck, just be prepared. Great. Thirty foot line. Okay. Hold on one second. It gave me a little longer because I haven't remembered some things. <laughs> also, y'all see y'all see that on the other side of the camp, right? Or is that just me? Just you. Okay. Over there by that tree. On the other. Oh. 
on the other side of the fire from me. There's a fire? You're talking about in our camp? Yeah, in our camp. Are you yeah. talking about the two donkeys? Oh, those are donkeys. The two riding okay. ponies? Okay, those are donkeys. Yeah. Well, why are they there? Because they're with us. Oh, those are our donkeys. Those okay. are our donkeys. Sorry. <laughs> I got hit they're in the face. They're my donkeys. Hit. Sorry, I got hit in the face. I'm a little, I'm a little dazed. I'm a little dazed. Okay, I got, I got hit in the face. I'm a little dazed. Sorry. Okay, Winky almost killed them. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's a good, a good. Yeah. Don't dazed. worry, we'll go through this again with Nadep here in a second. Guys, I'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> At least Eve won't die. Yeah, that, that's right there. <laughs> it girl. <laughs> we had her scouting ahead. Eve will come back and be like, oh my god, my entire party's dead. <laughs> the other pony's starting to make a little bit of noise. Need it? <laughs> e is not this, huh? Puppies, have y'all been good? Do we think we need to take a bio break while he's gone? Yeah, I why some not? Coffee. Make it simple. All right. Yeah, Elijah. <laughs> Elijah. <laughs> Any more coffee, dude? Uh, a car. We, oh, never mind. Our car's got it. Okay. Something big. Yeah, we don't. Currently, we don't know what we're fighting yet. We know something's over here. The donkeys. These are our two donkeys. No, nope. never mind. He's back. <laughs> oh, well. Sorry. <laughs> Something big is all I know. It threw a huge rock at my face. <laughs> all right, Nita, what do you do? Your turn. Uh, why, why did it pass you? I don't. I don't know. There, it's your turn. Okay. Um, I guess I'm gonna move around the other side of the cart. Like. And the cart's a physical object, so it will block you. <laughs> all right. Cool. I still can't see anything, so I'm gonna move. The rest of my movements here. Uh, I guess my suggestion is to don't come towards me. I have the torch, so I am literally the target at the moment. Okay. Let me do my math and figure out how far I moved. How do you how do you do the distance? calculator thing again i just count the squares <laughs> well i mean like i mean how do you do it how do you do it through foundry yeah like that you do um you I hold control it, um, and then hold yeah. down the hold down your mouse button until you want to find it where you're going to go ah yeah that's right while yeah. still holding control you can release the mouse button and then click your mouse button again and then that way you can do paths, paths. yeah Gotcha. All right. And that'll be my three actions. I'm done. And you can just right click to let go of everything and right click to back up the route you did. If you want it to 
you do the route you did, then you hit the space bar. Gotcha. That's pretty cool. Alright, so that'll be my turn. Alright. Core? Wait, where'd you go? Ran into the <laughs> darkness. Ah. I'll run over here first. Um... Can I activate my night vision goggles? Yes. All right. Do you want me just to turn on my lantern, I guess? No. I've got the ability to update your token to give it dark okay. vision. Okay, cool. Vision. Uh, let me look at what settings I gave me to. That's the easiest way to do it. Ooh, I might get a chance to go invisible. <laughs> just leave Natala standing there. <laughs> I'll just be a floating torch. It'll look like magic. I can see clearly now. All right. I don't see anything to the south, so I'm going to run. Over here. That'll be my intern. One to the north. I just realized we don't have our superior healer here with us. I just ran away. Realize I ran away from everyone that could heal me. need it you need to save basic reflex all right you got it yay nice. you take half damage Which one's the half damage button? Uh, the yeah. second button, apply half damage. Ah. Yeah, if you, it takes a while for the little thing to pop up, but it does pop up. Yeah. And I don't have any damage resist to electricity, right? No. Okay, just back in. Uh, did that, which way did you go? Which way did you run up in the darkness over here? Just for the Please. folks that are streaming knows, I have... Hey! Is it high? Somebody just got done with their bath. <laughs> Okay, that didn't get anywhere near you. A splash of acid just jumped at you, Cor. Ooh, good. Uh-oh, we're surrounded. Yeah, Charles. 
Hi, dude. Hi. <laughs> Am I not? Someone just got done with their car. Ow! Ow! <laughs> Oh, that's in my future. <laughs> <laughs> that's the fun age. Before opinions. All right. <laughs> that, that's why you got to shape their opinions before they get that age. Yeah, another saving throw. <laughs> All right. Reflex. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, that one wasn't as good. That time you take full damage. Which which direction did you run up into the darkness? North. Uh, you don't, you can't north. talk. Uh, oh. uh, I don't know. You'll have to find out. I didn't see him run. <laughs> All right, a car. Found the bat. Alright, that was my full movement. For one action? Yeah. Uh, right over here. Uh, Don't see anything, so I'm going to that. I'm going to support the debt over here. Right, what are you doing? Ah, I found him! <laughs> hey, the debt! What's up, buddy? <laughs> but it took three actions, so that's in my turn. <laughs> <laughs> Crippling silence of preparation. <laughs> I actually get nervous. <laughs> Hopefully, I scare you to the face. Attack of opportunity, Core. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Back. Um. Make sure I, to target him first. Yes. <laughs> uh, I, I did not declare what I had out, but it was a sword make, and shield. Make sure you go ahead and equip what you had out. All right. Let me inventory. Since that makes a difference, now I kind of like that. Pretty sure I have those equipped. Uh, did not have flail equipped. Had the katana equipped, and I have the. Shield equipped, check. How does that work for mine? Since I can literally pull it out in a split right. second. You still gotta do that though. Do that. Most people have to take an action to do it. Got him. You hit. Right, you hit it. Yay! I just hear a yay in the darkness. 
No, you heard a. Ah! <laughs> oh, yay! <laughs> now you're about to hear a thump. <laughs> thump. Is that what my face sounded like when the rock hit it? No, it sounded more like. <laughs> <laughs> I would think it would sound more hollow, but okay. And a club goes shooting over your head, Cor. Right, that is the end of its turn. Winky! Yep. You <clears throat> definitely heard a lot of noise straight to your right. Something large just pondered over that way at full speed. Okay. Um, so let's see. <clears throat> Basically, you heard the noise from here to here. Okay. Not to the north where you're heading. Maybe he doesn't want to go where the noise is. Well, I'm just saying. <laughs> the noise you heard literally charged. Well, we, we all know that Winky was asleep, so he, he's still kind of groggy, I think. What? Where? Where? Um, let me use my first action to go here. And you can see the creature. What does the creature look like? A fifteen-foot toy gray rock, fifteen-foot tall rock gray humanoid. A toy gray humanoid. <laughs> You're a toy. Oh, You're a child's plaything. What about but these a, two over it's here? It's a 15 foot. They are humanoids wearing robes. You are a construct. Are we attacking that guy? How was it? It's standing over core. Well, it ain't our donkeys. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna. Can I hit him? Could have said uh, you use your minotaur charge. But that would be my last action. Yes, but you could combine combine it. Yeah, you oh had, yeah. You had your sudden charge. Yeah. Because that that would count as a sudden charge. So I guess I'll move up and attack at the same time. Yeah. So I right hear and then hit this. Uh, you didn't have it selected, so I have to see if that hit. Oh, crap. Sorry. It did hit. So roll regular damage. Uh... And you walloped it. What a wallop. All right. That's your turn. You gonna end your turn? Yeah, it's not my turn anymore. You gotta end it. <laughs> there you go. All right. At this point, one of the uh, donkeys is getting very unhappy. Tala? You saw where Winky charged off to. I'm going to move down here, and I'm going to console the donkey. Good, because I don't know who tied those knots, but I was worried about the donkeys running. Okay. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to check the knots. Hear, and you can't hear me. Check, I'm, check I'm, on the donkey. Try and calm it down. I'm thinking all this in my head. Check. <laughs> Oh, boy. Oh, boy. And you can effectively calm both of them at the same time because they're both riled up. You got this. You got this. You can do this. 
Oh, boy. Okay, baby, I got a plus one to that, so, you know, that was decent. <laughs> She's yeah. a city girl, guys. <laughs> Woo! Donkeys, the donkeys are a little bit calmer. Okay. Uh, yeah, right. I assume the movement's in action, the calm is in action. So for my yeah. third action, I'm going to activate my dark vision goggles. All right. And that's it. Oh, that's a heck of a lot better. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Both uh, Winky and Kor make a reflex save. Nice. Ooh, that one was dancing there for a second. That scared me. <laughs> All right, Winky, you take no damage. Kor, you take half damage. You take ha no, you take full damage. Was like <clears throat> when he said duck, and then uh, Koi was like, Does duck? Where? <laughs> <laughs> the other donkey looked like it was about to get angry, but has calmed down with the other donkey. Good job, Latala. Need it? Uh, I'm assuming you can tell what I'm about to do. You didn't ask how large the room was. I just need to make sure that I'm not within 20 feet of where I want to shoot this. You didn't get the reference. Oh, sorry. The joke was, I didn't ask how big the room was. I said I was casting fireballs. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Oops. I'm going to have to calm the donkeys down again. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing you're down there. <laughs> Ooh, can I do that as a heightened spell? It's like a level three, so I don't think so. Isn't well, it? I have it's a third level, yeah. The third level spell. This you don't fourth, have... When you get just... fourth level magic, you can highlight. Yeah. Not quite yet. So I can roll my damage now? Uh, roll damage, one of them saved, one of them didn't. What is the save? One of them takes half damage, one of them takes full damage. All right, they're still standing. Core? Sweet. All right. One, I want to position myself on the other side of this guy. He's now flat-footed. Sweet. I want to I to double check. It's two actions. I'm going to try out my spell of enfeeblement. Really okay. people meant. Ooh. <clears throat> on the big guy. Okay. Wait. Away with the power of the slack foes. Oh! He is oh. critically. <laughs> <laughs> oh! In fact, I'm going to roleplay this because that was a one. <laughs> yeah, for reals. I don't even know what Enfeebled does normally. I'm, you can I'm click the button. <laughs> Under success, you can click Enfeebled. It takes a status penalty equal to your Enfeebled value. Strength-based rolls and DCs, including 
strength based melee attack rolls, strength based damage rolls, and athletics check. He really just crippled that thing. So minus three to attacks. Yeah, it'll automatically do it, I think, once it does that. So. Now that I put it on, yeah, it should cool. do it automatically. Okay. Wow. Good use. Yes, I'm oh, and, very happy with the first time I've used this spell. And Charles, I do have fourth level spells. Well, it doesn't get okay. better than that. But you have to burn a fourth level spot. Yeah, just for future yeah. reference. Yeah. I forgot. Like, I it doesn't, it doesn't get any better than that core, so... It's only, it's only downward from here with that spell. Mm -hmm. But perfect first use. Here we go. I ended my turn. Yes, I see. Okay, hold on a second. I am sick and tired of this not having the numbers in there. I gotta change one thing real quick. Three hours later. She ran in, looked at me, and then ran out as I looked at her. Like she got caught doing something. And our youngest cat is super weird because she'll go into the living room and just stare at my wife. Like she'll just sit there and just look at her for hours. Hey, now it has the right thing. All right, now in theory, need it and a car. You can click where it says save DC, and it should roll your save and tell you whether you succeed or not. Uh, where is save DC at? Uh, electric arc. Yeah, electric arc. Save DC. Oh, okay, gotcha. I'm not getting okay. any response when I click it. Okay, y'all can't. All right, I will do it for you then. It may just be that I was uh, clicking. I got it. Oh, I can, I can do it now. <laughs> 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 yeah. Well, the first one was yours. The second one was me playing with it. Oh, okay. Woo! Yes, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, That's so y'all both take half damage. Okay. Woo! Wow, that was max roll right there. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm currently feeling slightly unhealthy. Now for Winky and Core. Y'all both save for it. Oh, oh, oh. almost 18. Winky, can you click save DC? On yeah. your electric card? I think, uh, I think Winky needs one more headset. He doesn't have enough yet. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Winky, Winky, you take no damage. Core, you take half damage. Is that the second button? Wow, that was almost yeah. that yep. was almost max again. Well, I still get the same amount as they did. Yeah, because it what, rounds rounds up, right? Down. Yeah, it looks like it rounds down. Uh, 
Yeah, they had a nine and they took four. Oh, he, yeah, yeah, because, yeah, Rams down. Yeah, that's right. Rams down. Need it, been a car? Y'all get to save again. Sweet. Oh, wait, need it, been a dar. I'm over here about to click the button. Half damage for both. Dang, these guys are like on it, man. Duh. It's been like almost max or max. Car, your turn. Make sure you select your target first. Double click it. it. Double, double click. It won't let me double click. Try, yeah. try right clicking. Right when when you click it, there's a little icon at the bottom. It looks like a target. It's it's your right mouse button. Double click your right mouse. Oh, right, there, we go. oh there it is. Yeah. All right. Cool. I'm just gonna start launching arrows at this guy. Pull on all three actions. First shot. You hit. Takes full damage. Second shot. You missed. Third shot. And fail. And you missed. It actually says fail over the uh, target. That's interesting. Yeah. When you select your target, it does everything nicely. Uh, end your turn. Oh, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> How do you select multiple targets if it's like splash? You just draw a radius, and then I'll do it. All right. Well, if I ever do that, you're going to teach me how to draw the radius. <laughs> this this giant's got the worst luck. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! Starting to feel bad for the giant. Maybe we need to the adopt giant. him, guys. <laughs> the giant looked around he, and was he, like, "Does he don't have a healer?" <laughs> does he hit himself? <laughs> Maybe loose. We'll find out. Oh, he does hit himself. Wow, he hits himself yep. right in the face. Goodness. He's we... using a tree. He missed core, hit the ground, and the tree bounced back and hit him in the face. <laughs> nice. He knows who the real threat is. That's that what is he gets. Way. That's what he gets for throwing a rock at me. <laughs> <laughs> He was supposed to be a challenge. <laughs> Poor and he just ended up being challenged. It's my turn. I'm going to hit him. <laughs> Winky smash. Um, and you still haven't selected him as a target, but you hit. Dang it. How do you start selecting him? And that's a critical hit. Sure. It's your right mouse button, Winky. You double click your right yeah, mouse button. Double click your yeah. right. Yeah. What my what? Wait, Ooh, no, what? Winky. Jeez. Jay. Note to self: Don't fight Winky. <laughs> I also. And then your electric special damage. Good. Well, it's under so... it's under your character. Uh... Where is it at? Uh, Hold on, I'm not. Oh, he got it. a critical. That's why. Yeah. I got a big critical. Click, click the button that says uh, Features Dreadboon Miner. Features Dreadboon Miner? Yep. Yeah. It went off. 
features. Creation. My, mine, is, mine is under actions. Yeah, there's nothing here. Okay, I'm then look under running. actions. It's under reaction. The last one at the bottom. Yeah. Action. I see it on your sheet. Or your uh, token icons up top. Where it says strikes, actions. You have one that says Creation, reaction. Red bloom. What? Dread yeah. boon minor. Ah, Creation dread boon. Yeah. There you go. So do one D six. Sixty four damage. damage. Alright, that was your first swing. Okay, <laughs> that was the first hit. Oh, I gotta lock on to him. Yeah, I'll lock on. Now you're targeted. <laughs> and you did a regular hit. Yeah, the rock giant is questioning his life at this moment. <laughs> oh boy. It's all kneecaps. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna hit him a third time. Get that crit. Uh, oh. <laughs> Uh, I think you might miss something. Else. You missed. Well, that was the end of my turn. Okay. <laughs> well, I mean, you did what? What? 80s, uh, 90. Let's see. 18. The ponies seem to have calmed down. Thala? Okay. 29. He's still not dead after sixty-four damage plus. That was eight. that was ninety-three damage you did in two swings. That's and awesome. there was a fireball up this way. That would kill. That would kill most of us. <laughs> Actually, that would kill almost all of us. I can't get to it. <laughs> uh. You have enough actions to pull out your sling staff and fire. Yeah, that's what I was kind of contemplating. Which means it's I'm. Fit. It's only fitting against the giant. Yeah, which means I'm <laughs> dropping my other stuff. Okay, so I got to. I got to equip the Titan one. Equip the Titan one. Dropping the dagger and the rapier. And let's see, I moved. I'm going to load it. And then I'm going to attack. You hit. Sweet. He's down. Oh. <laughs> I didn't even get to roll damage. I'm rolling damage. Roll your damage. <laughs> 19. It had one. <laughs> oh. Cool. All right. Then I say, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Remember that time Hatala took devastated. out that stone giant all by herself? <laughs> you mean what when up? it beat itself up? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh boy, that poor giant. Did it drop a trophy? <laughs> <laughs> what are you gonna do? Mount it on your fort. Core. Make your save. You said Winky and Core? Yes. Alright, both of y'all take half damage. Need it. All right. Um, higher or low? Depends on what I do. Huh? Higher or right. low? 
All right. In that case, I will do something characteristic. I'm going to uh, charge at these guys. And as I'm charging, well, I guess as I get to them, I'm going to use uh, my dinosaur shape. And I am going to turn into Tyrannosaurus Rex. <laughs> <laughs> Might be overdoing it, but okay. <laughs> okay, you're now a T Rex. Alrighty. Technically, we haven't slept yet, so whatever. <laughs> oh. I'm curious. I'm going to check something out. I'm going to assume it doesn't really do it. No, it doesn't give me the option. Well, we haven't slept yet, but we did, We slept. He hasn't used anything the day before. No, that's my point. We haven't slept yet, so we can use whatever we want here. Yeah. We'll have it back after we sleep. Yep. So you're now a T-Rex. Awesome. That's the end of your uh, turn? Yep, that would be the end of my turn. I moved, and it cost two actions to cast. There you I mean, go. Those dudes don't run away. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hop on my back. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a reach? Ride button? this bad boy to Vegas. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna arc survival this to the day we die. I'm just gonna to Oh what did I do? Dang it, I didn't hit the right button. You hit katana. It's like hey now we know he has a katana. <laughs> Boom. You didn't target it, but yeah, you hit. Oh, yeah, sorry. And that's a Come regular crit. Come on, Winky. Hmm. Dead? Uh, let's see. Why did it say D10? Yeah, it's dead. It was, <laughs> but I mean, it was saying D10, though. I, I should have had it only equipped in one hand. I clicked the right one. It says two-handed. I know. Oh, uh, you know you can change it on your... Uh... can't remember where you change it at. There's a thing that says that where you're changing it to single or double-handed. Yeah, it, it, especially cheap. in your strikes. But I have still not. Yeah, you been should able have multiple options in your strikes. I do, and I clicked the appropriate one. <clears throat> Unless it was no, because that one says two-handed. I mean, I'm just doing this to see if the numbers. Are, you know, because that's the same as the other. All right, I'll tell you what, I'm going to unequip the two-handed and just make sure it's only one-handed selected. Well, you have base 1d10 one, one slashing uh, and then 1d10 for your striking rune. Yeah, but it's because he's got two-hand and he's not supposed to be doing two-handed. All right, I'm chesting again. Yeah, it's still doing it. Still two-handed. I don't... Click the. Do you have multiple things in your hands? Like you have both of them selected? I mean, I had the shield out. Well, I mean, do you have it equipped in your I, inventory there... as far as your card goes? Maybe. I have the katana plus one striking equipped. I have. I have that equipped. Yeah. Do you have your shield equipped in your inventory? Yet? Maybe it's maybe I, ha the, I have the shield equipped. Yes. Yeah, maybe it's not subtracting it from the. the now you're not two handed. Yeah, it's supposed to be somewhere on your panel. You can choose whether it's one handed or two handed. I don't have any two handed weapons, so I don't. I can't see what y'all are seeing. Um. Jeez. Still, 
There. Did you figure it out? Okay. I figured it out. Go to your strikes page on your character sheet. Should be the second little tab. The actions tab? Oh. No. Oh, yeah, actions. Okay. Click on the katana plus one, and it'll open up a box where it says attack, deadly, two-handed, versatile. A versatile. Okay. If you click on where it says two-handed, it becomes oh. two-handed. If you unclick that, it becomes one-handed. Gotcha, gotcha. Cool, 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 cool. Kind of annoying. And it looks like that's where you would change the versatile since you can do piercing or stabbing. Okay. Because right now you have it in piercing mode. Stabby, stab, stab. Hmm. Okay. Oh, no, it wasn't in piercing, but you can turn it to piercing. Okay, I get it. But that's how you change it from now on. And now everyone knows. All right. Knows what? That, was one act that was two actions because you moved. The rest of the story. I don't have two-handed um, weapons. Yes. But so y'all take a have second to attack. My memory. <laughs> oh, he was staying it. He was. Uh, I didn't even look to realize he was dead. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm just stepping up to this guy. That's it. I'm in here. Okay. Alrighty. If you had stepped in between the two, you could have just attacked. Yes, hey, true. Wet. What are you doing, boy? That is true. It's okay. All right. And now those guys are facing a T-Rex. What will they do? We'll save. <laughs> do you have the will to be here right now? They're cultists. They don't think the same as we do. This is true. This is very true. Ooh. It's not a dragon, it's a neck, cut, Derek. <laughs> hmm? Yeah, so I didn't turn into a T Rex, I turned into a giant neck. Your your twitch chat. <laughs> it's four a star neck. neck. And it missed again. Next one missed. So both of them missed spells at you. Yes. They, they missed a dinosaur? Yep. <laughs> As they should. Uh, I'm wondering if I need to switch targets because... Uh... Unless the depth is tall enough for me to shoot through his legs, I can't hit that target. You can easily shoot through his legs. You've seen how T Rexes look. Okay, well, I didn't know if he was that much taller, but okay. Well, I'll, I'll attack. Him. He's a full size adult T Rex. Right <laughs> did, you, did you think he was a neat up sized T Rex? <laughs> I mean, you know, hey, you never know. It could be like a baby T Rex. I've got like know? 15 foot reach and everything. It's nice. What? Yeah, so you didn't even need to move up. Well, I was like 22 feet or 25 feet away. I was just out of range. I guess huh? if I became, I'm now a, I take up a 10 by 10 now, don't I? Yeah, because I'm huge. No, I'm large. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> All right, you hit. And that one's hurting really bad. <laughs> I'm gonna take my second shot. See if I, I just can eat him. tap him again. I'll assume that hits. It says it hits. You see it on the screen, don't you? And it is down. All right, so for my last action, I'm going to take this guy and I'm going to <laughs> uh, 
I'm gonna give no. him the fight with us. <laughs> like, give him like a winky face. <laughs> hey. <laughs> give the T Rex oh. a kiss. <laughs> If this works, don't kill him. If it works, I'm gonna eat him. <laughs> I, gotta, I, gotta, I gotta tell you guys, I'm honestly really worried with this fight. Because if this was supposed to be a challenge for us, he's gonna really ramp it up on our next one. <laughs> right? Yep. <laughs> Wiggy? I mean, to be fair, the ones for the stone golem, or the stone... Yeah, I mean, giant. Really, it's it's. It hasn't I, been rolling very well at all. That that's. <laughs> at least to be a little bit of a challenge, especially because it was at night and y'all couldn't see it, so you couldn't gang up on it. Yeah, and that that definitely worked. It died, didn't it? Because it well, took us a minute to get there. Well, if we it... quick we quickly figured out that we need to either you know jump off in pairs, like you know. Even though we've split the group, we split the group somewhat equally. Yeah, that's why I'm by myself. Because I just hold that much weight, baby. Well, uh, <laughs> hey, I saw you take out that golem. Yeah, oh, you one get that shot. Extra plate of food at dinner. I'm going to move here for my first action. Go right. second dinner, baby. <laughs> yep. Got all that weight. And then I'm going to hit this dude. Oh, yes, you are. Oh, snap. I just flipped my mouse. It got caught in my sleeve, and now it's in the ground. I mean, <laughs> so you rolled a 20 in real life, too, apparently. Oh, no, you rolled a 20 in digitally, but you rolled a 1 in real life. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, snap. Ooh. Two 20s. It's going to be one of them. Oh, come Roll on, come off. on. Oh, uh, well. It is confirmed. You <laughs> extra critted it. So roll your crit damage and then roll your d6 as well. I might have to take a bath after this. Ooh. Splat. Splat. He's already dead, is he? Yes, he is. I'm gonna still gonna do it. Overkill. I'm gonna be very frustrated. <laughs> Just hit it anyway. Off. It's one smooth motion. Pop! Oh, pop! All right, Winky runs up and batter batters, and it turns into a paste. So can I not use critical charge on this guy? I mean, uh, not critical charge. Uh... Sudden charge. No, it takes two actions. You only have one left. Okay. I'm going to lose my last action to move here. <laughs> That's my turn. Because the giant T-Rex needs backup. <laughs> well y'all saw what I was doing you can see it boy. all right I I'm gonna activate my bracelet What does your bracelets do? 10 feet of extra movement per. This one guy's got to be like, oh crap. And. Ah, oh, crap. That's two. That. Reload. End of turn. <laughs> I was going to say, if you don't let me eat this guy, I'm going to be pissed. <laughs> <laughs> If, if there's anything Hatala is not worried about, it's pissing off Nita. Nita? Even, even when he's a dinosaur? Man, she ain't worried about you. Wait, right. he could whack you in the leg and it would break. I am going to do uh, three counts of attack with my jaws, which would be uh, 1d12 of piercing damage if I hit. But I don't I, know. Hold on a um, second. I, I will say, as she came up to this cultist in a T-Rex, she was definitely just having a hard time deciding which one to shoot. <laughs> Wait, what? So I get a... What is that? Where did that come from? 
So I get a plus 16 attack modifier and a damage bonus of plus 9. Hold on. I've come to speak with you again. Seeing if I can do this. Can I do that? No. Can I do that? No. Okay, so I see your jaws. No, 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 no. Okay. So the, I guess you just make a melee attack. Fist attack? Yeah, but it's instead of a plus four, it'll be a plus sixteen. So, do you want me to just roll a d twenty with modifications, or how do you want to do that? Uh, Am I reading that correctly? It should be in the first the attack section. Attack modifier is plus sixteen. Yeah. And what is your attack modifier normally? <laughs> Plus four. <laughs> okay. So what you would do is click fist, and when it pops up, okay. add in where it says modifier and add in a uh, 12. Yeah, 12. that's easy. Huh. It has it all there for you. Yeah, that's nice. I right. like the new update. Makes it a little bit easier to change and add stuff instead of having to... Uh, that 14 was like, yeah, no, yeah, no. Oh. <laughs> wow. There's my first attack. Missed with your first one by one. Oh, okay. Close this out of my way, so. <laughs> Alright. Oh, you I can do it! it. Ho hold on. No, that's right. Never mind. That works. It's still the plus 16 total, so that doesn't matter. That time you hit, although you didn't do the uh, minus, did you? No, I didn't. No. Maybe a There's minus no five. Penalty. Maybe a twenty-four. And they have twenty-one, so that still hit. All right. So and it's make sure I got this right. Eat it! Eat him! It's one d twelve damage. Ooh. Now, does that get the plus nine? Uh, damage bonus is plus nine, yeah. All right. Maybe you should add a uh, a micro that does that for yourself. Yeah, yeah macro. I, I need to work on doing some of that stuff. I'm pretty sure someone's already got them, too. Yeah, with that being such a central thing. All right, so they would have taken 15 damage? Yeah. All right. And eh, might as well go for the third. Need up, you just bit off his arm. I said eat him all completely. Is that... And you hit. Okay. Even without the... Uh, the minus the, 10. The plus, six, the plus 60. <laughs> You factored in the minus ten. Yeah, as you say, that didn't hit because it's not a. It doesn't have a. Well, it was plus four, so. Yeah, that was minus. That a... you, you actually got plus two to what you rolled. Yeah, because you did the wrong thing. Yeah, you time. didn't add the plus twelve. You you did the wrong thing multiple ways that time. But yes, you were supposed, <laughs> you were supposed to add been... plus twelve minus ten. Oh, I got you. So plus two. All right, plus six. So well, eighteen damage. Or yeah, plus nine, so eighteen. Yeah. All right, it's hurting. That's all three of my turns. How far 
charge this. All right, I'm setting charging this. All right. Make your attack. Ooh. And I stab a dinosaur. <laughs> you stab your own foot. I just noticed you made my my uh, my token bigger. It's like, why is core so small? Oh. <laughs> 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 oh, actually, you know what we'll do? Easier, Peyton? Mm -hmm. Next time we play, I'll take some time and make new tokens for each of your forms so that the okay. stat will be on the token and we'll just swap your tokens out. I like it. All right. Uh, I don't know what happened, but I ended my turn. Oh, that's it. Woo! It's, had so much speed. You, it's you sailed you're... on past it and tripped and ate the ground. Watch out, there's some dinosaur dookie back there. <laughs> I don't know why that tickled me so much. <laughs> so I'll probably only need two moves to eat this guy. Ooh. I think I know what I'm going to do with my first And you one. fell on your sword. Oh. I'm going to take full damage on that? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Ouch. Ugh. That's pretty bad, dude. That's pretty bad. That's the worst attack that's, any of us that's, have taken tonight. That's worse than the stone giant, dude. To the yeah. face. To himself. To the, to the face. <laughs> and that was dual-handed, too. I really got <laughs> it hard. <laughs> you successfully cut yourself while dual handling a katana. Did, were you dual handling it? No, I have a sword and shield. No, it's it's messed up. Yeah, because been, it's been all over the place the whole night. Okay. It's all right. It's okay. So we haven't now, even slept yet, so it's cool. It's turn. <laughs> it went to take me to uh, mouth eating person. Ooh. So if Needup eats him, when Needup goes back to normal size, will the person still be in his stomach? <laughs> That's a good thought. I didn't think about that. Technically, yes. I was going to ask Needup, it's, it's like, uh, how do you feel uh, about eating the person? That would that would crush the death. <laughs> I just clear my bowels before I change back. <laughs> oh, God. Well, he's already done it. That's why Core slipped, so. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Crap. Uh. Whoops, I uh, clicked the wrong button. There we go. At least undo is still a thing. Uh, what? My turn. I think he undo to me, Cubs. Oh, crap. Oh. Oh, crap. What? It's Hatala. It's not Hatala. The cultist raises its arms and shouts something in a language you've never heard, and its body just blows open, and one of those creatures you fought under the mountain is there now. Oh, kill uh, fast. Now kill we fast. have a kill fight. Fast. All right, I'm going to go heads up, core. Oh. I'm going to turn around and smack it with the tail and uh, do a, a strike with that. That's right. So... <laughs> All right, hold on, though. Sorry guys, I'll be right back. I'm sorry, I gotta handle something. No can, dinosaurs, can dinosaurs even talk? <laughs> I didn't think you thought this plan all the way through. 
<laughs> that was great. Okay. So do your actions. All right. Um. Sorry, my closed. All right. So. I guess it's the same attack, right? On it's your first attack, 12. so it'd be plus yeah. 12. Ah, I know what it didn't do last time. I have to hit add before I roll it. Alright. Assume that hits. Uh, hold on. I'm actually trying to see something real quick. No, that was a miss. No, that did hit, yes. Okay. So, 12 damage? Correct. Okay. Still alive? Yep. Again, again. I don't want to bite this thing, because I don't want it that nasty in my mouth. Alright, so this should be plus 7. 5 off, right? Six. And you could actually start targeting it, but yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's like if you could actually play the game right, that'd be nice. That did hit. <laughs> All right. And then 10 plus 6. Can I do that here? Sorry, my wife needed help with something. What did I miss? Unacceptable. Nothing at the moment. Okay. Hmm. Try to do it quick. Uh, da, 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 da. Is that eight? What's that? Yes, that's eight. What's the plus six? Because it's a. Oh, it's plus nine. I'm sorry. Okay. So he's like bonus. Bonus. So it's so eleven. Eleven. I'm nah. sorry. I'm so bad at this game. I'm so bad I at mean, math. It's right. it's not it's not just that. It's that you picked one of the most complicated characters you could ever play. Yeah, yeah. That, was, that was one of the All things right. that uh, core, that was one of the things the core told me oh. to stay away from. Yeah. Was one of the complicated. You got one more. <laughs> got one more. But yeah, you missed one. horribly. Like, your character and you still haven't do, targeted it yet. Like, everything. <laughs> that explains why I missed it. Yeah, because you're just, you're just well. Yeah, really it does, it doesn't it? <laughs> you spun around and fell down when you missed. Yet okay. on the ground. You are a dinosaur on the ground. You stuck, sucker. Can I sit you ever on seen top a T-Rex get up? Yeah. I told you there was dinosaur <laughs> dookie over there. He slipped in his own dookie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Does that mean I can't shoot over him? Akar, your turn. It's going to be hard to shoot over him from where you are. Look, ain't nobody going to be upset if you accidentally hit him. <laughs> I'll be upset. <laughs> and I'll be a dinosaur still. Hey, you will leave stuck on the ground. <laughs> but you can keep your streak alive, Akar. It's shooting at least one teammate in every battle. That's true. <laughs> That's so true. <laughs> Accurate. Oh, Accurate. that's. And you didn't target. Oh, you did target it. Yay! So you just barely missed. Oh, he moved. I see that. Okay. That's two actions. Well, look really? at him be a good team. And you hit it. Te technically, we'd have killed him, so. Need it mostly killed him. Well, I mean, that's a technical. And that's your turn. Yep, that's me. 
This is when it hurts. I hope I'm far enough away. For what? God. 30 foot. The description is just terrible. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm within the... Yep. <clears throat> it yes, I, I'm uh, being out of range! Corey, it reminds me... That, that, if I that get is... sickened... That description reminds me of uh, that uh, being that he right. found in the cave in the land. Who wants range but me? Right. Yeah. Everyone, make, the three of y'all that are in range, make a will save. DC 27. There's four of them in range. No, five. Yes, four. come on. Four. No, you four. A, you mean a core That's save. Four. Oh. I'm dead. Yes. Someone roll the nat 20. You're only You're mostly dead. dead. Look. Sickened is incredibly annoying. It doesn't kill you. <laughs> you have to puke a lot. Ah, uh, the thing is messed up. Yeah. Because isn't it supposed to be nauseated and sickened? Nauseated a thing? Are you talking about where it says critical failure? Hold on. Because it says undefined. That's what I'm saying. I'm trying to remember what the attack was. Hold on, I'm going to have to look it up on the website again. The, the, it, apparently the things have changed enough that it's not matching up. I think nauseated is a thing. Sickened is, so. <laughs> Yo, Kylie said, Y'all can do this, don't die. You do have a dinosaur on your side. <laughs> she said, A car, you're, you're, already, you're dead. already dead. You can't, it get, can't any get, get any much worse. <laughs> <laughs> Sickened and stunned. That's what it does. Okay, that's pretty bad. So. On a success, which is 27 or higher, so Kor and Hatala, you are ju both just sickened one. Needip, you are sickened three. Ooh. Oh, man. Is he gonna Wait. eat? Is he gonna eat him and then Hold puke on. him out? He can't Stun ingest anything. Sorry, sorry. Stunned oh. three, sickened one. Okay. And then, Mo, you are stunned five, sickened two. Oh my god. Wow. Whoa. I'm just laying on my back, looking at, like, where are the stars? Cars, a car's been beat up. Wait, I'm am I I'm sickened, not stunned, right? Yes, that's what he said. Okay. Yeah. How do what do I do I add those or do you add them? Either way, I added mine. I don't know how to add them. Uh... You right click on it. There's a person with a yeah, super saiyan glow around them. Yeah. You click on that, and then it's the one. It's down near the bottom. It looks like somebody with snot coming out their nose. Sickened. And I was sickened. I Three, mean... I believe. Sickened two, stunned five. Oh. Sickened and where is the stunned one? Oh, God. I got to zoom in. It's alphabetical. Yeah, you got to zoom in. There are alphabetical is the only saving point. It's the bottom right. Yeah, it's the one that looks like a ghost with an arrow with an explosion from its head. Yeah, it looks like you got a headshot, is what it looks like. Okay, yeah, there we go. Alright, I got him. You got yourself done, Nita? Uh. Try to get sickened. But... And stun means you can't do anything. Yeah. Uh, basically, you have to run through the actions. So you're four, right? 
five. It's, I'm, la it's... I'm literally laying on my back looking up at the sky right now. You you cannot do actions for five turns. Each turn, one of those will go away. All right, cool. Well, hurry and finish this guy so y'all can drag me back to my bed so I can just sleep this off. Wait, so does that mean they're technically three actions per? <clears throat> so you can burn you get three actions a turn, so that means for two turns he can't do hardly anything. Okay, but I um, should be good. And next for you, turn. you got stunned three, didn't you? Which yeah, means for one three. turn you don't do anything. Okay. Got it. All right. And for Mo, it's one turn with nothing and one turn with one action. Yeah. <clears throat> all right. Now that just had to destroy. Uh, that. why do you have all those others in the debt? Because you're prone and yeah, he's laying down. Yeah. He fell over with a critical failure. It makes him flat. -footed. Yeah, I'm trying to. I'm trying to learn what they're all. Okay, flat-footed. Got it. Flat footed, prone, and uh, second and stunned. The flat footed is because of the prone. Yes. Yeah. That's important. If only Core hadn't slipped on that dino dung. <laughs> this thing's probably got like five HP left. Dude, this is the new goth thing that we fought under the Lonely Mountain. Yeah, but it's a small one. It's just a little one, which means Look. there's worse ones. You guys saw what happened the last time we started commenting on how easy charles was <laughs> i have said nothing about how easy charles i don't know was. how, how easy about. that that giant was and i don't know no, i got my butt kick guys i never saying know. the giant was easy everybody felt bad for the giant mm -hmm. i had never everybody saw the had giant. pity on the giant but i mean you're the one that like killed him though because it needed to die it was fighting my friends well i don't know about you guys but my butt, i got my butt kicked <laughs> And scaring the ponies. Actually, Dad, we kind of—it kind of was being beat up by us. It, no, it I mean, how do I know that? All I did was hear sounds, and then I ran. Boom! It was—it was Hatala versus Goliath. I'm trying to figure something out, and need it. You didn't use your. You are prone. Down. Because you're prone, your AC should be lower. Yes. But it, it doesn't... doesn't... Yeah, it, but doesn't it doesn't do actually... It's like the one thing it doesn't do automatically. Yeah, it doesn't do flat-footed. So that did okay. hit you. And... <coughs> Pentacle mouth. I hate the descriptions of this thing. All right. You got hit with chaos, acid, piercing. <laughs> Oof. Delightful. It's because of all of his uh, blessings. It just, yeah. All right, did you so take your damage, Nate? I'm waiting for it to all roll. Full damage. That's an agile. Seven, uh, 17, yeah. How many magical attacks are agile? That's interesting. Winky, what is agile? The the tentacle mouth attack is agile. It's not a magical attack. It's a me physical it's, attack. It, has. it says oh. magical. Oh, uh, well, it says attack agile, and the rest are magical, chaotic. Oh, and then it, magical. it does have a magical effect because it does chaos energy, acid energy. Yeah, so I'm saying just a. Oh. a any kind of magical attack with agile is kind of interesting. Charles. Well, I mean, that's like the, an agile weapon on, having turn. a match. Hold on. Weapon weapon having if I turn. walk into the uh, area of effect, do I, do I have to roll something? No, it's only when it does its attack. So I can walk in there. Yes. 
with no effect. No, charge and smash it. Yeah, I'm gonna use sudden charge, and I'm gonna whack it. All right. Make sure you target it. <laughs> I'll get that. Do yeah, try it. Yeah. Yeah, I hit. I told. I thought I moved. It won't let me move. Hold on. Pick up your token and move it. Oh, I don't have any. Yeah, there. Yeah. Okay. So you hit. It's just normal damage. Yeah, I'm right. gonna try. I'm gonna try to hit it again. All right. Okay. And you missed. That's the last action. remove the ponies since they're no longer in danger from this thing where they're at. Katala? Oh, I didn't select it. I had it selected when it was the, uh, when it was the other token. I assume that misses. Uh, yes. I'm going to reload. Oh, oh gosh, Shorty, come on. I'm just going to stand here, apparently. Jeez. <laughs> All right. Need it? You did nothing. He's stunned for three. Oh, so I don't now, get to go anymore. You can, remove, uh, you can remove three of your stunned now. Uh, Where four, four is go? gone in the order. Core is oh. normally after in the death. Yeah. Maybe he thought I was an ass. No, it's probably when I accidentally deleted your token. Uh, I, um, it's, it, apparently it's on my. Okay, there it is. There. Yeah, it was on my turn. I was like, uh, do I enter? All right, Core, or... your turn. <laughs> Come in. I'm going <clears throat> to. I want to attack. Success, damage. You hit. Least, mm, okay, still said 2d10. I'm going to go check it to the other one. All right, stop. Because you just caused all three of y'all to take. Oh, that's right. You can't so Mo, Needip, and Kor all take 14 damage. Although, actually, wait, you get a reflex save first. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, Not you, Akar. Okay. Spews acid blood. I didn't yeah. know. Cause you would have you seen that just no, now. No, the, the, ra the radius hasn't changed. Winky. I wasn't sure. Oh, it's not in that radius. Yeah. It's okay. adjacent. Anything next to it. I want to I wanna use a hero oh. point. Okay, use your hero point. Okay. You still didn't succeed, but you didn't critically fail. And Nita, you got a reflex? I would assume, just being honest, I'm on the ground prone. I would assume that I don't get a reflex. You okay. still get a reflex. Okay. You can your... roll. I mean, you Pen can roll. Tuck your knees It'll, it'll roll. just be penalized, that's all. The blood, it, it matter. Yeah. The blood <laughs> might not splatter that way. So the three of y'all take full damage. Oh. Womp womp. Now I'm covered in dinosaur poop. Alright, you need blood. to start throwing heels. It's your oh, poop! Vomit. <laughs> Doesn't make it any better. <laughs> Do you like being covered in your own poop? Better than being covered All in right, someone else's poop. You hit the Nygoth. Alright, for my last action, I'm dropping the katana and pulling out the flail. Okie dokie. A car? Now you drool. <laughs> <laughs> I do nothing. I, I'm drooling everywhere, looking at the stars like, where are the stars at? I can't even see them. It's turn. 
Time to get second again. Can I say I pulled out the hatchet yeah. instead of the flail? Yeah, that has a blunt side to it, doesn't it? Okay. When the tentacle grabbed onto you, Nita, it stayed on. Oh. Oh, that's just because it loves you, buddy. It loves you a lot. It wants your essence. Make a reflex, a fortitude save. Come on. I guess I can start on my new character. That 1d6 minus 4? Yeah, I know. Why, why not just do it? So you take 14 damage. Righty then. It's still attached to me, so am I grappled yeah. now? Yeah, you are grappled. Ooh, it missed Winky. Yes. So I was gonna try again. Oh great. Oh, oh no! <laughs> Hey, make it all of uh hero point. It hit me, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. All right, you are grabbed as well. <laughs> hey, hey, stick with me, buddy. Stop, you little booty. <laughs> oh no! Oh god! Is that right? That seems like a lot. <laughs> Hold on, let me see something. 2d6 plus 13. Minus, minus 2. 2d6 two. Two two acid. Plus 1d6 minus 2. No, that is double. That is correct damage because single damage is all that. Oh, God. What about the minus 4s to the 2d6s? <clears throat> Take full damage? That's yeah, you take full damage of 50. Two. Oh, no, it is d6 minus 4, not 2. Oh, God. Oh, no. You're still healthy. <laughs> I am healthy. But you don't want to be whopped on too much, but it's now holding on to you. I'm at 18 HP. Yay. I don't want to see how much HP I'm at. Dude, <laughs> I have an idea. Nina? <laughs> yeah, you're hurting. <laughs> yeah. Y'all shouldn't have said anything about the giant. Winky? <laughs> um, so you said there's a tentacle on me? <laughs> it, it's fighting on you, yeah. Can I take? Can I shock the tentacle? You can try, but you, you, you can try. I don't like where this is going. <laughs> <laughs> oh Lord, help me! You managed to do one d six damage. Okay. Just to that, right? <laughs> We're about to find out. <laughs> Healing potions! You shock it, and I'm going to give it a chance to let go. I'm going to say it's going to make a fortitude save. Please let it, go. If it lets go, does it let go of both of us? We'll see. Depends on how bad the roll goes. That was a pretty decent roll. <laughs> yeah, I think it ain't it's going It's a nowhere. seven, but... I'm going to say it just let go of you, Winky. Okay, now I'm going to I'm going to hit it with my hammer. It would be the second action, right? Map 2, make sure you select the enemy. I did. Crap. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> and he's used his hero point. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
He's about the to kill himself. Not he, oh, 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 oh my god! The only thing is, is that's a good thing when you've rolled a one. Yeah. <laughs> if he had rolled another one, it would have been bad. But oh, jeez. Yep. <laughs> All right. So you shocked it. It let go. You pulled out your hammer and you swing at it. Fell into it and it grabbed you again. Dang it. I'm gonna shock it again. <laughs> Is that a one action? Yeah, wait. Is it? Most spells are two, but it's I don't know. It's not a spell. Oh, oh yeah. So it's can a... I shock it again? No? You can try. Okay. Oh my gosh. Let's go! <laughs> oh. Now I get shocked. Alright. <laughs> you do 1d6 plus 4. 1d6 plus 4? And double that. Or just do 1d6 plus 4 and I'll do double damage. 1d6. Plus 4. 6, 12. Times 2. 12. Do I roll a, a d4? No, you don't really. No, it's right 1d6 plus 4. He'll, he'll do the rest of it. Yeah, the plus 4 is <laughs> given. Minus 12. Yeah. And it let go again for sure that time. But Should just I go you. of need it? No, okay. No, just you. Well, that's the end of my turn. I'm going to give it a chance to let go of need it because of the damage. All right. And it did. Okay. You're welcome. Right. It is flat footed now, right? Uh, Yes. Okay. I reload. Attack. Jesus, criminy, get it together, girl. <laughs> Do you want to use a hero point? No. <laughs> <laughs> you I tell you what I that? am going to do. I'm going to do that. <laughs> That's the end of my turn. <laughs> All right, need it. Oh, come right. on. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take one action to stand up. So I'm no longer prone or flat-footed. All right. Do all that. All right. I'm not flat-footed. How do I? Why won't it go away? Yeah, it's difficult to make it go away. Uh, I'm no longer grabbed. And no longer pro Right? I'm missing yeah, you're just sticking now. Yeah. All right. And then I'm going to retch. So do I roll to lose the second condition? I can't remember the exact. Fortitude. Stat. Fortitude save. Uh... All right, you managed to lose it. All right, so I puke all over it. And then even though it's disgusting, I'm going to bite it. Oh, <laughs> oh God. Don't do it. Don't. Here, save oh, wait, damage! No! no. Oh, my. my bad. He already I'm... said it. Yeah. But it didn't oh, roll no, it. I cut myself off in the middle. Like, Not to mention, though, he is needed. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pissed. He was pissed. stunned at the time. It. And you hit. All right. So that's going to do... Bye, uh, Winky! What was that? What just happened? Uh, Everyone died. Need up killed everyone again. No, I didn't. I just bit the thing. Uh-huh, and stuff's about to happen. <clears throat> Don't be so pessimistic. Uh, Alright, so it's a d10 plus 9. It's like, he's gonna bite it. It's gonna die, but its blood's gonna kill everybody. I'm gonna become uh... the thing. <laughs> It's going to kill him, mostly. I mean, it's going into his freaking mouth. <laughs> Stupid one. Close your cheeks. Close your cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, guys. I'm dead. <laughs> all right, first off, make a reflex save for all of y'all. Three of y'all. If I don't I mean, make a reflex save, I don't have to die, right? What kind of reflex save do you do when it's in your mouth? 
Oh. <laughs> A really uh, shoddy one. At least it's not oh, a one. Gosh. At least it's not a one core. Yeah. Everybody it do a reflex save? Uh, you do. Hey! Not everyone. Grandpa, Grandpa killed you. Thank you for the raid. Uh, awesome. You have the reflex. Yeah, you guys are just in time. Oh, for we're the... being raided. Y'all are going to get to see us die. I think this happened yeah, last time. Yeah, this is getting really <laughs> crazy. Thanks, guys. You're, so, you're seeing All the right. end of it right now. What's up? Hold on. Everyone takes normal damage <laughs> except for Core. Oh, core gosh. takes double. Core takes double. Oof. Sorry, Core. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Wait. Did, 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 did y'all just die? No. I'm at zero <laughs> HP. <laughs> I'm at zero HP. I'm still so, so Winky <laughs> did just die. Oh, He's, no. He is unconscious. Oh, I am unconscious. Winky is unconscious. Needup is at negative six. Oh. Oh. Wait, what's his constitution? It's probably maybe a little over that. <laughs> Needup. Hey, did, did that, do you have a bowler hat? He might actually <laughs> die. <laughs> you have a bowler hat on. It's the end of Needup's turn. Where do I find my constitution? Yeah, I've never looked at this before. All right. Core? All right. My constitution's like 13. 13? Well, you're, you're halfway all right. through that. Here's what I do. I'm going all in on the attack. I'm going to drop the shield, pull out the... Uh... You already got your flail. Yeah, you yeah but I want the hatchet as well. I'm going to do a double what? strike. Double strike, because the hatchet is agile. I'm using the, the blunt end of the hatchet. Ah. Uh, okay. So you can read it. Move that. One with each of your two melee weapons. And they both what hit. <clears throat> not bad, not bad. This is a public service announcement. Do not insult your GM. Do not tell him it's easy. And do not bite wiggle worm monsters. Oh, and spew acid blood. Come on. Dead? Oh no. Oh god. It yeah, is dead. We basically have no one to heal us. All right. Yeah. Pulling out. You're the... The... I mean, evil Every... be back next week. Yes, but Hopefully. no one else can heal us. But we'll need up. And will Winky remake it back? I'm gonna go through Payton's bag and see if he has some healing potions. Oh, on can we? Him. Can, can, him can I? I mean, uh, look, look, I've got some medicine. Are we? Are we still in combat? Because I'm about about my only. Oh, we are. My turn. We are no, about of... to go help Winky and save Winky's um, life. I okay. <laughs> Thanks. Well, I'm gonna use I my one action if... to go save Winky's life. I want to see if I could roll to at least have one hit point left to at least walk. Are you rolling to die? This is your death. Make a magic save. I could have used a hero save? point. That was Fortitude, good. Eliza. You can't what, make a reflex you? save when you're unconscious. Yeah, you don't have any reflexes anymore. <laughs> All right, you have stabilized and have one health. Okay. I'll add that to my thing. May I also try and make a saving throw? You're, you're dying, not, toy. You're dead. <laughs> you, you can okay. try. It's going to be a penalty, but make a fortitude. Be why good. did why did core why did core wait where is core that was not good that was not good you did not stabilize <clears throat> where did core go I wanted to give uh, Nadep a, a potion well I mean I can do oh, there he is. I think I can do medicine on him I I, uh, I have me I have the ability to do medicine too yeah you were gonna go for Winky so I was gonna go for Nadep. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna I go. need to know how to treat a T Rex over here. I'm gonna go help Winky and see if I can get a little bit of help. Get Did he revert? Winky. Yeah, I would have reverted back is, to normal form. When he form. is defeated, he reverts to his normal form. Why is he so freaking huge then? <laughs> <laughs> I just changed it. 
Hey, Winky, Grandpa killed you, gave you a band aid. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for the band aid. Where's my <laughs> band aid? <laughs> You're too big yeah. for a band aid. Kylie said, I now feel bad for not being there, but not that bad because I'm safe in town while y'all die. <laughs> <laughs> oh man y'all need to bring the healing rod with you from now on yeah, oh yeah. man all right uh okay how are we doing this because i want to help we well, we might we might have been able to kill healing, it without so we know we, we may have not, uh but my thing is it's it. like since wiki's got one hp and we're about to go to sleep should oh i, I, I can heal to, by the way I oh. can heal. Yeah, I try to go and help stabilize the depth since he's kind of dead well, doing minute, it. Yeah. yeah but but first I'm going to throw up. <laughs> Does anyone else need healing besides... Does that make, get me out of it? You do get oh, out that's, of it. That's awesome. right. That's right. That's right. I have to throw up. Of course. Oh, yeah. you need I have to throw up twice at least. Uh, yeah. Maybe. Okay. I'm going to heal, really heal Core. Time. I'm going to heal Core. Because I can. Why is everybody frozen? No. Sorry, there were like 25 gunshots. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Alright, I gotta throw up. Alright, I, I can't. Up. Nobody can work on Needup for an hour. So you failed the medicine throw, so I'm just dead for an hour? I mean, it's, it's... Alright, alright. So what do you want me to do? I don't do this very often. Need it. So... Make your fortitude save. <laughs> he's, he's just slumping over. <laughs> You got this. You got this. All right. You did not get worse, but you did not get better. Uh, Charles. I'm still dead. Can I? Can Again? I heal? Can I heal? Uh. Nobody Cor can do anything to him. Yeah. I'm talking about core. Then make your roll. Okay. Didn't get worse, but it didn't get better. All right, you did good. So that's it'll be an hour for y'all doing that. What about uh, me, GM? I did my throw up to relieve my sickening, and I got an at twenty. So you got a, you removed one. Oh, actually, you got perfect, so you're not sick at all. All right, cool. All right, now I can actually help. All right, need it? Try again. Oh, I'm just waiting oh. for the natural one. You got worse that time. All right. Let me know um, when I can treat him again. What does that mean as far as... So if You're I was at negative, negative six... Nine. Okay. I'm going I to can, get if I hit, my shovel if, and start digging if I, hit, <laughs> if I hit negative 13, that would be death? Death. Yeah. Okay. Can we haul him back to the tree? Um, it's it's gonna take time. So yeah, by the time you get into somewhere, he wouldn't make it. So you said nobody can help Nadette. You guys, well, there you was a time hour. limit, huh? We that's what I was saying. When when the when the time limit runs up, I every I'll try minute and kill him. he gets to save himself if he can. Um, but if if he rolls low, he loses. How, do, how does how does the healing work? Since Atala already tried to heal him, you can't nope, do medicine on can... him for another hour. But we could do okay. if somebody had magic, we could do it. Or the healing potion could with the, the healing potion help him? Because he's got to be stabilized first. How does that work? Uh, let me check one thing. Eve would probably know. Yeah, Eve, get off work and come back quickly. <laughs> Deliver the penny, hurry up! <laughs> I, I reach into my back pocket and oh look, there's a wand of healing back here. I don't know where Put this it back came in your from. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody must have slipped it in here. I don't know how to use that. <laughs> yeah. I don't see any. Re I don't have any reason to say why a person can't be force-fed a potion when they're unconscious. All right, that's what we need to do then. Would I need to make another save? Since you should have a potion. He sh there should be a potion on him. So. Yeah. Hold on. While they're while they're talking about that, should I? Uh... 
Doing hey, I can, I can spawn one of those holly bushes in, and we can shove berries down his throat. That <laughs> is not automatic. Say what? Say what? Eating that was... is not automatic. Oh. <laughs> nice try, though. Because I do have those uh, those fairy to the feather tokens. Why do you get damaged? It's the no. wrong direction. <laughs> I'm dead. You're dead. Well, you, you're dead because when you went no, to go you gotta heal. hit the plus. You gotta hit the plus. <laughs> he went yep, down his yep. windpipe. Yep, 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 yep. I hit it twice. You drowned. <laughs> okay, well, Nita, really you're back to consciousness. We we got well, some I divine got prayers from point. Eve. All right, I'm gonna do a three action heal. Yeah, you have five hit points now. All right. I'm going to do a three-action heal spell. As soon as he's conscious, I'm saying this. When will you learn? <laughs> you see how the battle goes. You see what happens. You've got to pay attention. I feel like I'm talking to a child. Well, yeah. He still has I a concussion. I honestly feel like I'm talking to Asher right now. <laughs> Alright, we're back all of y'all. Yeah, it's gonna be... Um... And are you doing it at your highest level? Yeah. So since so that's a level one spell... And Everybody will come over here and hold up! Level four, it'll do 5d8. Nice. 5 that would have been nice to have while you were unconscious. Yeah. <laughs> if you're the only healer, you don't attack. He, I mean, Remember, to be fair. That's the free spell Eve gets every day. Yeah, she, wow. she's got she's got that uh So we all get plus 30? No, she's a cleric. She gets that for being a cleric. Yeah. Right. Oh, oh no. Yeah. No, but we all are in the radius. We get yeah, plus everyone plus gets thirty hit points. So Ooh. I am I am now thirty hit points over my a, a max HP. Yay! <laughs> yeah, that's how that works. Because I, 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 I got I got back to away. normal. I got back to normal. I got to thirty-seven. And core, you got healed for two uh, D eight from Winky. Oh, okay. Was that medicine or was that Plus magic? ten, right? That was magic. Since Winky's not paying attention. He missed out. I gave him the tell. Oh, you already did plus, it? You should get plus ten with that, too, I believe. Since um, Winky's expert. Uh, Charles, was that uh, yeah. magic or was that medicine? That was Which one? Uh, Winky's. What, Winky? Winky's, Winky's Winky healing. Winky healed core, not you. Well, oh, no. got the 30 That's from the I'm magic saying. from was Nita. Wink, was Winky's healing core magic or medicine? That was medicine. medicine. Oh, okay. Because I was going to try to... If he had magic and healed him magically, I was going to heal him with medicine. That's why I nah. was going to ask. Oh, yeah, medicine. Okay. All right. Winky That's and Nita both need medicine, but Winky... Nita will have to wait you know, another 50 minutes. Yeah. All right, hey, so that was fun, and guys. And Corey medicine, too, but he just got it, so. Winky yeah, just, the last one to do have medicine. Just for emotional reference, when Hatala said what she said, she was crying. Well, I had I had, <laughs> I had not used, I had medicine still. That's why I said, I haven't used it yet. That's why I was asking. Right. I was going to attempt to help. Uh, get medicine when they can get it again. Yeah, I was try, going to try to help Nadette, but. He had already had medicine, so I was asking if Winky's healing you, was magical or medicine. You can use your medicine on Winky. Okay. Because Winky that's, still needs it. That's what I was asking. Cool. So Winky still needs it. And you can treat Winky while Winky's treating Core. Copy. Got it. All right. Here it is. Oh, boy. That's a failure. It's not a penalty failure but he was a lot <laughs> shorter than i realized he was a lot, <laughs> lot shorter than i was like you're, eh, oh you're treating fine. over his head half, half <laughs> of the stuff went over your head okay <laughs> this is this is definitely what happens when we don't have our healer
Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, you might need to invest in some extra healing ones so that everyone has one. Yes. So that at least you get one healing spell a day for each person. Yeah, that would that would be a good idea. I'm gonna run over here and uh, I'm gonna go to sleep. <laughs> 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 He's like, I'm gonna heal you, Winky. Whoops, I missed. I'm gonna go to sleep. <laughs> well, that was the uh, the first shift. Who has second shift? Uh, uh, I guess that would be uh, yeah. Well, I'm full health now, so I can take second. Oh. Uh, and y'all took an I'm, hour for treating, so it's almost midnight now. Yeah, I'll definitely be on shift because I am full health. I'm good. I'm. The and, only thing I'm worried about is charm, but I never use it hardly. That was the first time ever, so that's probably why it didn't work. Uh, but yours yeah. your charm is better to use when you're like in cities and stuff like that. Yeah, I was and, I was just, and probably was not to, on a cultist. But I, hey, hey, I was trying to. Yeah, no, I, I appreciate the the thinking well, outside see, the box. But the thing is, is if I didn't charm that guy, he wouldn't turn into a tentacle dude. I mean. I mean, he might who's, who's to have. say your charm is what activated the transformation? <laughs> Me? Because that's not how it works. <laughs> no, it was the it's dinosaur. Like, it, was, it was the dinosaur. Yeah, the dinosaur. He was scared, it. so he called for backup through his own body. All right, yeah. y'all took out four cultists and a stone giant. Oh, time to loot the bodies. Be careful with the necklaces. Try not to touch anything you shouldn't touch. Be very careful, but let's see what we find on these bodies. Uh, right. Atala, can you put a reminder to help me remember to do the whole uh, try to burn out the the thing with the fire? Burn, uh, burn I need a bio shadow. break. I need a bio break. What about everybody? Okay. Well, we're almost done. We're, we're yeah, we're we're okay. like at. Yeah. Right, right, can you right. wait? <laughs> yeah, I can wait. <laughs> all right so when you examine the bodies all of them show signs of the mutations from having the tentacle monsters in them the three other cultist bodies are still wiggling gotta break it burn destroy them. it stomp Winky. them out all right i will uh cast if it moves it. smash yeah. it wiki smash um, you might not want to smash. You might want to burn. Yeah, I'm gonna oh. cast uh, flaming I... sphere and I... hold it. Are you sure you want to burn? Because if you burn, mm. the fumes will still be here. The I sphere. Mean, I, it's I open hold, air. I can hold the sphere and just continually roll it over them until they're all burned out. All right. You managed to burn those corpses. Crispy critters. Yeah. Yeah. What is this? Oh, anyways, you burned them up, and now the stone giant is there still. It does show signs, but it doesn't burn very well. Hey, Winky. You want to make some pebbles? Winky smash. It's still made of flesh. Oh, I thought it was a stone god. I can, thought it was a stone. Can I try burning it? Giant. With my power? Right. Stone no. giant. I keep oh. thinking golem, too. You can try it's like, not... like Valheim. It's not yeah. producing enough flame. Oh, it's not producing enough I, flame? I would like to cast Grease. Oh, no. And then I will cast Produce Flames. Okay. You grease it, then burn it. And it finally is enough flame to consume the entire body, and it burns up. And you can see several tentacle monsters burning up in the flames as the giant goes. And I am out of spell slots. Glad I'm we not... killed that guy. Were, were there any uh, necklaces or, or quella stones or anything that we found on them? We did not find any stones on any of them. Interesting. When they burnt up, you notice that there is a stone embedded in each of their foreheads underneath the skin. Huh. And are these Quella stones? Yes. All right, we need to get these destroyed or whatever. Who? Oh, gosh. 
I'm sick right now. Can I? <laughs> I'm sickened by this. What, using, what we may need using to do the, here. Using um, <clears throat> the fire titan power without touching the stone initially, can I feel it? You do not feel those stones. Um, can I try burning it? I'm going to try focusing burning it. Make a check. What do I need to roll? You've got that skill. Do. There it is. <clears throat> you managed to produce a very hot flame, and all the stones, because they're small enough, all the stones turn from smoky gray to pure black. Okay. Does that mean that now, do these look more like death stones now rather than Quelleth? They do. Is that, is that what just happened? Mm. So you burned away the Quelleth, but the... So we still need to take these to Debbie. Yeah. Bag them up, boys. Use the tongs or gloves. Yeah, we've got the right. travel kit with us. A car. You think that there's something wrong with this giant being here. As you personally know, they only live down by the ocean. Down by the sea? The, the presence of this uh, stone giant being here is really, really rubbing you me wrong. You don't think they'd ever go very far from their coral reefs. I don't understand why he's up here, because normally they're down by the sea to, to the south. Oh, he's up there down. Are they under a boardwalk? I was thinking down by the bay where the watermelons grow. Yeah, no, they normally don't travel this far. I think this thing is here awkwardly. This is not normal. I don't understand. Do you see why him all the time while you're sitting on a dock in the bay? Mm -hmm. no, Does anyone else want to try occultism or anything to figure out what he's talking about? Sure. But. I don't think I don't, any of, the, any I don't of us. Think are, anybody knows. Not, nobody occultism. else has occultism. That was kind of a problem I, we've had before. I have a plus two on it. You can yeah, try. but that's that's because of your. Uh, you're not actually trained in it. Doesn't matter. Core, you know enough to know that that's absolutely wrong. They live in mountains. <laughs> you don't know here where they live but it's not here because there's no mountains here. And it's definitely not the sea. Yeah, these are stone giants. Stone from the mountain. Akar, where did you do your studying? Uh, what do you mean? I mean, you're... I, I'm just... That was like the complete opposite. I'm confused now. That's all. <clears throat> he rolled oh. the next one. Yeah, I've realized that, but... <laughs> We got to play the game the way it is, and this is the way yeah. it is. <laughs> Maybe you were just confused for a second. Or a car, you can make a roll to try to rethink about it. Yeah, I'm going to rethink about this because, uh, yeah, I don't, yeah, I'm going to think about this a little bit. Yeah, you were certain you were wrong previously. Yeah, I don't know what I was thinking, guys. I don't know what I was thinking. But. You, you know what it was? It was that rock to the face. Yeah, that's probably what it was. I'm still... The trauma. You're yeah. not sure exactly where they're from, but you do know it's probably from the northern regions. You're pretty sure there may be some giants up north past our kingdom. Yeah, now that I'm thinking about it, I think it's definitely from the north. Up past where our kingdom is is where the last time we saw these guys. It 
Sorry, that that rock really shook yeah. me up, guys. I apologize. That's okay, okay, man. So the that indicates two things: one, the Quelleth are up there, and two, that they're able to bring people wherever they want. But I think the bigger thing is that they're in the north, not just in the south. And they're not just recruiting humans. Yeah, they're. And based on what you saw when you burned the body, they're able to bring more Quelleth across from a single stone giant than they are from a single person. Ooh, buddy. So a stone giant, stone giant can hold more souls than a regular person. Since we saw multiple uh, tentacle monsters being heard, what I'm thinking. It's partially the amount of flesh, but I want to collect <laughs> the items that I dropped. And is is there any chance I can find any of my sling bullets? No, not night. I can get All you right. a uh, some stone giant pinky toes. Yeah, it's not Skyrim. <laughs> I, if if I did need to say it, I picked up all my weapons. Yes. I imagine Hatala yeah. immediately ran back and got hers. Yeah, that's what I was. I, I always <laughs> try to make sure I at least say it because you never know. Right. There we go. I'm going to need to buy more sling bullets, yo. Eventually. Doing okay, though. I think I can make some for you. I can shape stone. Pretty sure I can shape stone into the bullets. Okay. Do y'all want to call it a day here? Yeah. Sounds good. <laughs> Let's say adios to the broadcast, folks. Bye. See y'all. Thank you so much.